so many rules in 40K, hundreds of events, and constant updates. Skip the learning curve of Warhammer and join the pros. Art of War is led by multiple world champions with decades of success. We teach clinics, stream games, and inspire you to succeed at your favorite hobby. Join our global community of gamers just like you. to another Art of War stream. We are bringing you some new hot balance data slate. That's right, both of us got a big boost off the latest beta data. Balance data slate? Balance data slate, Jack. I'm so excited I can't even <laughs> talk straight. I'm talking like Nick today. We're all super excited. We both got Armor of Contempt, that beautiful of new ability that reduces AP of incoming attacks by one for all Space Marines yep. and Chaos Marines and Death Guard and Sisters. That's right. Most ignore AP stuff. Once you get to AP3, AP4, it shuts off. Doesn't work anymore. Armor Contempt does not work like that. All AP, AP16 is AP15 now. Oh. So AP4 goes to AP3. It's a whole new world out there. And you know you Death Guard fans are loving it because all of our Terminators, the Blight Lords and the Death Shrouds, just gained the OBSEC rule. It's that's, very annoying. <laughs> that's been what they've needed for some time, and I'm glad they finally got it. So I'm here... We're here, Death Guard vs. Blood Angels. We're ready to rumble. Last time we rumbled in this jungle, you got the better of me. This That's is actually right. the third time we've done this matchup on the Art of War stream. The first time was right when the Death Guard Codex came out, and I clobbered Mr. Siegs. But then the next time, Jack Snacks brought the brought the snacks to the Blood Angels. So this is that tiebreaker. That's right. Round. If you uh, if you see, this is the uh, this is Nick's rematch against my Blood Angels. Wow, he's the 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 end of the line for these bloody boys. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You think so? You're going to slowly trudge at me until I fall off? Of course I'm going to slowly trudge at you bef before you fall off. Oh. you fall? Yeah, that Just one. Just that! <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We'll teach you how to slowly trudge at people, too, at the War Room Live. <laughs> if you want to catch the War Room, well, you can catch me and Jack teaching. At these conventions, Dallas Open will be at in just, a, is that next week? That's next weekend. It's next weekend, yeah. You can catch us there Thursday, the day before the GT. So if you're playing in that super awesome eight-round super major, uh, get some coaching beforehand. Jack and I will be there. We're teaching a basics and an advanced course. In the basics course, we'll be teaching you how to formulate a game plan, really what to do when you get to the table, making a coherent secondary plan, and play for points in the mission and really try to get that competitive mindset. And then in the advanced course, we're going to focus on projecting scores throughout the game, shifting your strategy, and figuring out what the tempo of the match really is, so some of the higher level stuff. If you can't catch us at Dallas Open, don't worry, we'll be at Motor City Mayhem shortly thereafter, just two weeks from then. And then later in the year, we'll be at Salt City GT as well up in New York. So all over the place, we'll be coming to you, War Room Live. That's right. It'll be just like the War Room. But, but live. live. <laughs> <laughs> and then, one more thing. This game was brought to you literally this morning by one of our wonderful sponsors, Army Painter. Army Painter provides some really awesome, high-quality paints at a great value price, and they are really awesome to use. They're made for painting armies quickly. That's why they're called the Army Painter. They have a spray paint dip done method, which basically gets you to four color, three color, four color your army. Have it looking above tabletop standard really well, really fast. I use it to paint 2,500 points of orcs in the course of three days. So I can tell you firsthand, it really does work. I actually used it today to build this pox furnace. What's it called? The Malignant Malignifier. Miasmic Malignifier. Miasmic, no, it's the, whatever. Miasmic. It's literally that. Yes. I will look that up later. The Miasmic Malignifier, that thing was new on sprue this morning in the a box, furnace. still in the shrink wrap, and I ripped that thing open, built it, painted it, primed it with that nice army painter beige, they, they think it's skull bone, and then I washed it with the, the strong tone wash and then the green wash, and... That's it. That's all I've done, and it looks pretty good, I it would say. looks ready to go. Like, honestly. ready to go, honestly. It took me, uh, not counting drying time, probably about 10 minutes of actual applying brush to model, and it's it's here, it's on stream, it's painted. Gotta say, Army Painter provides. Army Painter, just, they provide for you. They just give you what you need. They give you what you need. I'm gonna give you what you need, Jack. Objectives? No, I'm Points. gonna give you a healthy dose of the Death Guard. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, what's your Blood Angel list? I want to know. All right, so this is actually fairly similar to the Blood Angel list I've been running before, except it got Armor of Contempt and like 50 points because I swapped off Storm Shields for Chainswords. 
So I'm running, I got uh, one battalion. I got Dante, who's awesome. I have my Warlord, a Primaris Chaplain on bike. He has the Armor Indomitus, and then he has two Warlord traits, one of which gives him a Relic, which is the Admantine Mantle for a five up Feel No Pain. It is the Miasmic Malignant Fire, thank you, Nick. And then his last Warlord trait is um, Gift of Foresight, which lets him reroll a hit, a wound, and a saving throw each turn, Nick's and mine. It's and a saving throw, that's great. Uh, next up, we've got a Sanguinary Priest who reses models for free. So if Nick chips me down, I'm going to chip myself back up. And he's got Teeth of Terror, so he can slap real good. And I got three units of five Intercessors with a Power Sword on the Sergeant. I have three units of seven uh, Sanguinary Guard with mixed swords and axes all over the place. It's just all WYSIWYG, whatever. I have a Sanguinary Ancient who gives all my units, all my jump pack units, plus two inches to move. And he is Rites of War to give out objective secured to all my nonsense. And then I have a five-man unit of Death Company with four hammers and jump packs. And I have a ten-man unit of Vanguard Veterans with Chainsword and Lightning Claw and a jump pack. You can cheat. Nice. It's what? like you... Uh, uh... It's pretty much your Blood Angels. You know, they all look the same. They're just red marines. Oh, there's whatever. gold marines in there, too. Some black marines. Ah, oh, diversity. That's right. Um, I'm bringing you the Pain Train Jack. We got one battalion up in here, and yet we're still starting at four command points. Yeah, I thought I was starting at a low number of command points for a single battalion, but man, do you make me look like that's nothing. It is nothing, because we've got six characters in here. First, the Demon Prince. He's got wings, the sword, the talon. He's got a couple powers, and the Warlord Trait and Relic Combo for separating plate, that two plus armor save, and every time he passes a save in close combat, he'll bounce a mortal wound right back at you. And then he also has a five of feeling of pain. So with Armor of Contempt, he should be a chonk monster. Then we've got- A chonkster. A chonkster, no, a chonk monster. It's right, different. that's shortened. Well, I, I'm elongating, I'm elongating. Now he is thick, so he, he deserves a long name. You know who else is thick? My two malignant plague casters bringing lots of powers to you. I really like these guys for getting mortals going. I think that's super effective into this new durability meta. And it lets you get their psychic secondaries off a little bit more easily. Got two big thick units of Death Shroud Terminators now featuring Armor of Contempt and Objective Secured. What an upgrade. One of them has got the Reaper of uh, uh, Glorious Entropy, I believe it is, for that flat three damage. That's right, yeah. And then um, they got the chime. So if I start using Flash Outbreak on them, the, that aura rig will get even bigger. Then I've just got a unit of three to do very overpriced skirmishing. And then... Uh, <laughs> very got... slow skirmishing, too. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And there are more Death Shrouds, they're obsec, they're awesome. You can't convince me Death Shrouds are bad. Two units of 20 Poxwalkers. Um, they're awesome in Mortarians Anvil, which is my play company, because when you turn off rerolls, you start casting Miasma on them, plus one toughness on them. They actually become quite problematic to shift. Um, and then they can start regrowing on objectives. And their screens, which are very important. You don't have any otherwise. Unit of five Plague Marines, they got a smattering of weapons, one flail, a bunch of Plague Knives, and I believe one Bubotic Axe. Is that the big, thick smack axe? No, it's just the normal axe. Oh, but okay. they bring the Plague. They, they are Marines. Okay, uh, I mean, I can get behind that. Then we've got three characters, my favorite trio, the Tally Me Bananas, the Tally Man. Right. He's going he's gonna to raise my CP above four, one would hope. Maybe up to seven, that glorious number. Who lumber. even knows? We've got the Foul Blight Spawn. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got the Rotten Stench Vats for a six-inch aura of you don't count as charging when you normally would if you charge within range of him. So that's really good because it makes my Terminators much harder to engage. He's got the Viscous Death on his Flamer, so he's got 2d6 with the highest. I want that thing to do something, and I don't ever want to waste CP rerolling it. It's 10 points. You also get plus one strength out of that. And then finally, he's got the Warlord Trait Glooming Boat, so he is the source of no rerolls in my army, and if he goes down, um, I'm in sad town. But hopefully, he's surrounded by Terminators and making everybody fight last, so he shouldn't be going down. Glooming Boat. Glooming boat. And then we've got the uh, orange contaminator bearing uh, biology professor. I think it's the biologist putrefier, but I love the way you call him the biology professor. He doesn't do much, but he makes me reroll wounds and he gives mortals to wounds on sixes, so that's a pretty good combo. It's not bad. Ups my damage up when I do need to kill something. And then I've got one, two, three units of Chaos Spawn, all three man, and they're all been gifted by the Grandfather Nergs himself. So they're getting that toughness six and that minus one damage. I have never tried Spawn in this fashion before. It's why I'm starting at so few CP. Each time I do that, it costs me command point. Uh, if I had larger spawn units of so more than three, four man or five man, that would cost me two CP for units. That's why we're doing three by three. Uh, I think they're pretty good skirmishers for 69 points and like we nice. uh yeah like we said uh death guard don't have that so i'm excited for to try them out yeah they seem good they seem good they're great skirmishers they're cheap they're fast 
But you know, we can't forget the most well, important piece seven, of my army. Which model. is fast for you. We can't forget the most important piece of my army, Jack. What's the most important piece of your army? The miasmic maligma fire. He, oh my god. He, he's here. He's awesome. It's a fortification. It's got a stat line, so it's like toughness eight, 12 wounds, three pin armor. I think it's got an infill. Also benefits from armor of consent. It's pretty hard to kill, disgustingly resilient. What it does, it, it advanced deploys. It still has to be 12 inches from the enemy deployment zone. So in this quarter style deployment, uh, it's a little hard to place him effectively, but I think I got an okay spot. He provides Death Guard infantry within six inches, light cover, so that's great with Armor of Contempt. Yeah. He's, uh, uh, counts his, his uh, contagion range as max turn, so he counts as turn four, meaning it's a nine inch aura for whatever's contagion is going on for minus one toughness. And then if I cast Splash Outbreak on him with the strat, it'll be a, a, a nine inch aura of minus one toughness and no rerolls. And I can extend that even further with the Gifted Plague spell. So that's his primary purpose. He's also pretty chonky, and in some games he can move block pretty well because he's got a big base and he's yes. got a little pipe he right can attach. Right here, though, he's not move blocking me so much as move blocking you. Hey, we're just we're converting the planet into Nurgle's blessings, and we're just planting our seeds. Whether that takes garden. five turns or twenty, who knows? Enough turns. So when you run out of turns, you run out of game, Jack. You gotta keep that straight. You gotta keep that straight. So today we're playing Death and Zeal. This is a five jet mission. You can catch it in our strategy session series, which is for our Warrior members and now on YouTube. Um, basically, we go through all nine missions, breaking them down, uh, how you should approach them for the various army archetypes in the game, what secondaries you should be looking at, and how you should play and formulate a strategy. So a lot of it will be teaching in those War Room Live sessions as well. In this case, um, in Death and Zeal, we have five objectives, one in the center of the board and then one in the center of every quarter. So it's a five objective mission. Both of us will probably be taking Stranglehold. Yep, I think both of us have. Yep. Yes. Um, we'll be looking to, uh, you get the mission primary is you get two points at the end of your turn. If you control an objective uh, you didn't previously control, um, or five, or you get the points if you control all five objectives. So a lot of back and forth objective fighting in this mission. Very easy to score a good primary. It's taken hold, so you're going to score four points for holding one objective, or eight points for holding two. Of course, twelve points for holding more. And the objectives are sticky, meaning if you have an objective secured unit holding it at the start of your turn, uh, then you can leave it, and it will still be under your control until your opponent goes and claims it for themselves. For the emperor? No, for for Papa Nurgs over here. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah. It, it is your bad. It's it okay. is my bad, yes. Bye. It lets you do what every Death Guard player wants to do, leave their backfield. Uh, that's true. <laughs> um, I'm excited for... Death Guard really appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Do you want to go first or second? All right, Death Guard don't care. We're slow. Red dice for Blood Angel numbers. Uh, green dice for our wonderful Spire Warrant Fire and Nurgle. Oh, Jack's going first. Looks like I'm going first today, Nikki. Do you want to go first? I'm fine either way. You're fine either way? I, I would guess... like to just blow up a unit of Poxwalkers and a unit of Spawn in shooting and then just like pass the turn back to you and be like, what? You, well, you, you can what? try to do whatever you think you can do. I Thank you. You're welcome. That's what I like about you. You have any stuff you got to do right now? So I could pregame move at the start of the game mm -hmm. and just zip zoot this unit of guys up the board and just start trying to crack skulls and take names and whatnot. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to throw away a unit to give you, like your whole army would then charge it and get a bunch of extra movement. It That's doesn't true. feel worth it. Well, before you start zip zooting. You also then... deployed like a coward and left all your terminators behind a big wall of poxies. That's true. That's the way to deploy, Jack. Yes. Deployment one Actually, we should go up for our deployments. We should. Um, we should. Why don't you start with yours since you're about to take your turn. All right, so I'm not that scared of Nick shooting me because he has, and I cannot emphasize this enough, no guns. <laughs> Excuse you. Okay, you'll so, find out. <laughs> I'm sure I will, Nick, and I look forward to it. So I just deployed out in the open. I deployed so Nick cannot make charges into me turn one. So I just deployed 17 inches away from his deployment zone. So he can't make charges into me. I can make charges into him. So if he rumbles up, I can hit him. But what I want to do is I just want to move to all the objectives turn one. Or not all of them. I think I want to leave the center one open. And I'm just going to tap this objective, tap this objective, get my stranglehold. I'm going to shoot and try and kill a bunch of stuff because I have a lot of bolter shots. Uh, and spawn and poxwalkers do die to bolters. Really? I've heard. So I'm just going to get my stranglehold. I'm going to start whittling down his stuff that aren't terminators. And I'm going to try and reduce them as quickly as possible to just terminators and characters and see how far they get to. Well, going through my deployment real quick, we did line pretty much everything with Poxwalkers. Um, hopefully with those 20 mans and the little shooting Jack has, he wouldn't be 
able to kill the box walkers, then create a hole that the death can charge stuff I care about. They might be able to charge death shrouds, but the death shrouds are all in the foul blight spawn range. Uh, not all of them. Some of them are out. Some of them are out, but I'm just going to go through here. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's the thought. And then we've got some spawn over here, a three-man spawn over here, and a three-man spawn back here, just kind of being autonomous. Demon Prince right here, along with my two malignant playcasters, ready to come up and get some Psychic Rituals. Oh, for secondaries, I also took Psychic Ritual. Um, we took Stranglehold. And then Assassinate, because I'm, I'm killing Jack today. Heck yeah. You know, the Plague Marines back here, and then the Tally Me Bananas over here. Foul Blight Spawn, nice and central, able to kind of affect a lot of my Just armor. do Foul Blight Spawn stuff. And of course, my Malignant Malignifier, all... Uh, up here with this 9-inch aura of minus 1 toughness and soon to be 12-inch aura of no rerolls. Sorry. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta just do that live on camera. You can't help yourself. Okay, everyone. Okay. <laughs> so as we were. <laughs> Let's just make sure that uh, yeah, yeah, when you're putting I'll... your models back there. Okay, let me, let me do this. Don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so turn one, I'm just going to, as I said, I'm just going to shoot him, mm -hmm. and I'm going to run to objectives and make him do something about it. So this unit is going to, so um, start of the battle round, or start of my command phase, I'm going to start doing some things. I'm going to tally the bananas. You are, are you? But anga danga danga no. You're going to roll a lot of sixes, like you thought. <sighs> it's one of those You're games. very lucky, but one of the things you're not lucky at is CP, CP rerolls and psychic that. powers. Can't do CP rerolls. So we're going to put them in Assault Doctrine from him. We're going to... The Vanguard Vets? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, we are going to give... Can't give them full rerolls to hit, so we're going to give that to one of these units of... Or this unit of troops here from Dante, because everyone else is going to be hitting on twos, reroll ones. So they're going to get full rerolls to hit. Uh, plus one to hit is going to go on them, so they are hitting on twos with an extra attack and the whole nine yards. You, you like the nine yards. Nine yards is far. And then Chance, we're going to make him super Tonka tough in combat. Uh, Mantra of Strength, no. And we are going to have uh, full hit rerolls in combat for everybody. No, that's okay. I didn't actually need him this turn, so I'm banking my failed ones. This that's time. not how science works. That is literally how science it's works. It's how reality works, though. Interesting. So this unit, they're going to advance. They need a one-inch advance in order to be where I... Okay, they go 21 inches. They're going places. So we're going to go literally as far away from Nick as physically humanly possible. On the objective, though? Yes, on the objective. Yes, sir. Yes, sir -y do da We're going to kill them. Okay, I look forward to it. Me too. At least they're not OPSEC. That helps. Let's so... see if they were OPSEC. Here, you need to roll the fat 11 in order to charge me. Don't shoot me. I'll grow towards you. Okay, I might though. Okay, then I will go towards you. Okay, I can't can't keep a good man down. You need to roll the eight. Eight inch charge from the spawn, that's totally doable. It's worth one of my four command points. 25%. <laughs> Probably is doable, actually. <laughs> so I don't want to get charged. That's the only thing, because I don't want to give Nick movement. Oh, he's trying to use tactics. He's in the forest to keep me down. No, the forest doesn't keep you down. It's just a place I can put well, this unit it's where it's can... charge. Trying to get to you in the forest. No, you ignore that, don't you? I, th I thought they didn't. Oh, maybe they do. They, I, I think they do now. I think they, they changed now. it. They FAQ'd it so I do, because for a yeah. while I didn't, and it was really annoying. Okay. That's lovely. It's nice, right? Mm hmm So here, I'm actually going to let you try for an 11-inch charge. Because if you just move your army up willy-nilly and go for it, even if one unit makes it in, you're not going to hurt me that bad. I won't hurt you that bad. Yeah. Oh, Jack, it's it's only when your whole army just chain charges me off the board that I'm I will like, chain Wah! charge you in one turn if you come a little closer. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to come <laughs> a little closer. In fact, I'm going to come not at all closer. I highly recommend you do what Blood Angel players always do and run straight at me. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because I don't have to. If you get one unit into me, that's fine. You're trading one of your only combat units for a unit of, for probably like not even an entire unit of Sangard, like some of a unit of Sangard, and I'm totally down with that. That sounds awesome. Jack thinks he's awesome. I, I just think that scenario is pretty <laughs> lit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, not tempted by your 11 over here, but maybe I'll change my mind. Soon. And if you just move your army out willy-nilly trying to go for the 11 not advancing, you actually can't make the objective, which is the funniest part. Objectives are highly overrated. 
Everyone knows that. That is what we teach in the war. <laughs> that's not, though. We, we teach you how to play for objectives and then score your points, and that's important. Yep. So I'm just setting it up so I can shoot multiple units. Just shoot down there, shoot in here, shoot around, all around. All around the town? All around the town. Since I control this at the start of my turn with obsec. You I get a blood angel marker that's red, bright red. Raise the blood angels. Instead of raise the banners, it's raise the blood angels. But you didn't take that either. Right. I, well, I didn't. Yeah, obviously. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously. I didn't take raise the banners. I mean, you know, he definitely I mean, wouldn't have considered something like that. I, I mean, definitely wouldn't have considered that pregame. Or Nachman like, data. Certainly not something like, no one would consider that. No, nobody would consider, get out of here, Nick. Nachman data. <laughs> Nachman that's data. made up, honestly. I'm glad we both took assassinate. That's the best way. Rumble, rumble, rumble. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put four models on the objective. That way, even if the spawn rumble, as they are known to do. Um, actually, can they even get on the objective? Do they ignore the terrain? I do not know. Let's find out. Do spawn you get... You have to roll a six or get one model on, which means I just need to put two. So, yeah, I'm just going to put two. Okay. Two. What's my charge looking like? Going on. Your charge... Is looking like a fat cannot declare. Whew, that's a good one. That's good. I don't know where inexorable advance is. Maybe I just made this up one day. <laughs> just you had a fever dream and it was just like, <laughs> I was like, I really wish Death Guard North Terrain. You're like, God, that would be sick. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it is yeah. If they have the special rule, okay. Oh no, I get I gain this for being in my detachment. Bubotic Astartes. A spawn of Bubotic Astartes. That's the question here. They oh. are not Bubotic Astartes. Lame. Cool. cool. No, no, lame. I think what you're trying to say is cool. No. Spawn. You gotta be better than that. You Guys, like come that. on. <laughs> Guys, you're better than this. They are. They need those kinds of words of something. I'm just getting reroll hits on all them, and then these guys can get reroll hits if they feel like it, and so can any of this, and blah blah blah. Like, you, by the time you're fighting me, there are no rerolls. All right, we're. <laughs> you, you see the famed Blood Angel gun line happening right now. <laughs> you see yeah. it, right? We're lining up like we're in the Revolutionary War, and I'm just gonna get. Boom. Honestly, I'm, I'm I'm really excited to see what happens here. Let's bring it. All right, we're gonna shoot you. Okay. All right, so cool. They have a five-up armor, right? They do. All right, so this unit, there's only one unit that can't really see anything. So they can see down this way. This unit is out of range of the spawn. It's like one of the only ones. So it's going to shoot into the poxy walkers. Okay, shoot into the poxy walks. The walks and pox and pox and walks. Two's re-rolling. Yep. Uh, the... Heirs of Azkalon not bad. is uh, shooting and combat, believe it or not. Oh, wow. And then fours. And then these are AP1. So you get your seven up save because uh, you ignore uh, it and you get a seven up. Actually, I get a six up. No, your unit has to be holy within. Holy within? Holy within. Ugh. You're talking about the, the miasmic maligma fire. So we've got eight dead pox walkers from this unit here. Yep. Where's the uh, unit division? Uh, it's the base colorings. So you can ah, tell. Got it. It's the bright green ones and the non-bright green ones. So that's the first you saying in your yard? Mm -hmm. That's this one right here. Right going here. To that. So you can just keep on keeping on. I can on. just keep on trucking. Man, that's brutal. And then I can start shooting spawn next. That is B for brutal. Um, let's just pull eight from the front. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Oh, there's a whole bunch here that I don't need. Six. Oh my god. Don't get extra distance on me, Nick. I'm not trying to. There's swords are spindly. There's I know, it's the chaos sidely. life is the problem. Everything everything hurts when you pick it up. Okay, that's eight of them. All right, next unit. Yep. Same place? Same place. And then I'll polish you off. I don't think they can see me, honestly. That thing is solid. It is, is it? Yeah, look at it. Oh my god, it's solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Into here. Okay. Uh, yep. Sure. <laughs> My asthmic maligifier. <laughs> what a great guy. Can you believe that, Jack? He's such a he's such a bro. He's such a bro. Okay. Except please. 
Bunch of six ups, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Told you. It was actually easy peasy. Or go poppy pops. Boop, boop, boop. Just ah. looking to, to start whittling you down. You know how it is. I know. So this unit here is going to shoot the spawn. Okay. Can they all see? I think these. Two. I think there's like two that can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do do do. Do, do 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 This ain't so bad. Uh, take four, please. Four. Four. Five. Up. Four. Five. Four. Five. Four. Five. Four. Five. Four. Five. Oof, kill the spawn. You hate to see that. Oh, brutal. Brutal way to lose a spawn. Yeah, that's just the worst, man. Yeah. Yeah. These things happen. All right, this unit with full reroll hits is going to shoot them. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they have range there? I think they do. 24? Yeah, they got me. They got me good. Oh, thank God I have full reroll. Full rerolls to oh, hit on them for Dante. What, what a chapter. Why did this master. one win? Why did this one have to be the one? Toughness six, Jack. Five. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Falters. That's better. <laughs> Got him out of the way early. <laughs> Got him out of the way early. That's all I can say. That's just, all right. So one unit's in range. One unit. Looks like three models are out. Yeah. So why are there eight models there? Because string dropped out. Oh, you're stringed over there. Yeah, so I didn't see those two. So it looks like two can shoot here. Uh-huh. So they will. Okay, so two there. Into the pox walkers. Into the wax pockers. We roll ones. Efficiency. And fours. Three wounds, please. Three wounds. How about three dead? I can live with that for sure. Next okay. unit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, You still trays. got range? Uh, no. No? No. All right, so I'm going to shoot the spawn with them then. Okay. Uh, Looks like um, three. One, three. two. Is this guy? Yeah, he's good. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Shooting spawn. Just looking to chip. Do chip damage. So many shots. Yeah, this kind of, this building army actually shoots quite a lot. <laughs> two. Not that effectively. Two wounds. All right. The chaplain shooting you. Really shooting my trash up. Yep. Good thing you don't need it. One. Spawn? Yep. Bonk. All right. So, I mean, you know, that was a turn of stuff. When he moves up, it'll be harder for him to avoid lines of sight, and I will just shoot him some more. That's all you got? That's all I got. That's all he's got. I got my stranglehold. All right. I'm going to tally my bananas. And I got... I do. So you'll get your stranglehold. Um... We'll and you take, go up to six. And then I'll go up to six. And you take no prisoners? I did. So you got like one on that so far. Yep. So let's see. If I revive some pox walkers, I could get two inches off the first two, and then two inches off the next two, which would be up to five. And then if I get a fifth model, I'll get all the way up to here. Then I walk. This charge is pretty easy. So I'll spend a CP to bring back the poxes. Yeah. Seven pox. I'm kind of okay with my hitting on twos. Assault Doctrine, Blood Angel, seven to six attacks a model, probably dealing with that unit. Good, I'm happy for you. Good. Um, we are going to bring back six of them. All right, you do that, Nikki. Pox walkers walk in everywhere. They don't even care, they're pox walkers. Do, 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 do. You got six back? Got six pox walkers back. All right, I'm going to keep track of how many. Uh, you have gotten back, so at the course of the game, we'll figure out. That's a great idea. It shouldn't be too many more, because I can only use the scrap one more time. Pretty cool. So you've gotten six back. Wong. Mm -hmm. Damn, so I could walk up and charge these guys, but like Jack said, they are going to hurt. Now, without rerolls, if You're I make... hitting on twos. Um, without rerolls, and I make myself tough and spot, they're wounding on fives. That wouldn't be so painful. They're wounding on fours. Yeah, and true. they full rerolls to win. No, without rerolls, I can just say that. Oh, you're just going to turn it off for TCP? I really can just do that. So. Okay. <laughs> but still, it would be a little painful for these poxies. And they could just walk onto the objective. Now, maybe they could charge these death companies. That would be a lot better because they're nice to shut Did they off. get the uh, inexorable advance? Uh, I believe I saw that they get it, but why don't you I'll, just I'll double check. check. I'll double check while you're doing your movements. Uh, so I think... Something like that, because that's their incoherency, then he's incoherency, then they're incoherency. 
Yes. They do not have an extra-bull advance. They do not. Um, hold on. Nothing here does, so I'm assuming you get it through... No, you get it, and the, the detachments will tell you who gets it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, it's before all that. I just went through that process. Um, so I could get the Death Company. I'll say in regard to a six-inch heroic. Yes. So they'll just kill me. So we're probably not doing any of that. Um, we'll just go over here and walk to the objective. We'll walk so we have the option to uh, charge if we want. Is Bubonic Astartes? Question is, do they have Bubonic Astartes? They do not. So they do not have an extra bull advance. Okay. Do... And the spawn, I believe, are moving five through the uh, foray. Uh, I thought this was just the hill because we called it a hill. Oh, that's fine. Then. Okay. But that one, if I was to walk through that, yes. Um, I'm going to move these so it's easier to get to. All right. Spawn are just going to walk seven. Maybe maybe think about this eight. Let's think about it. Do I want to flash out, break anybody? Uh, maybe the Plague Furnace, honestly. Um, this would be a 12-inch aura of no rerolls. And Bat Jack would have to back up even more to shoot me effectively. He could kill it in close combat, but then I would get a nice interrupt off because he would start there. This thing with meaningful stuff. So I will flash up, break the plague furnace. All right, down to three CP. Down to three. Uh, let me finish moving these dudes. You know what they say if you gain two CP a turn, then if you waste two CP a turn, it doesn't matter. That's true. They say that a lot, actually. Who's they? I think you right now. Oh, I get a, uh, a magical Nurgle token for holding this. So, how big is that unit right now? Uh, you net killed one. Okay, because so I killed two. seven and you got one back. Yes. All right. Oh, got to get started somewhere, you know? Let's advance the little two-man spawn. They're going to go get me my strangular hold. They're going on the objective? Yeah, they can't make that one like we pre-measured, so they'll go over here. You could get one on that objective, for what it's worth. I don't think it's worth much. Yep. <laughs> That's... Me too. <laughs> so we'll go over here. Not in heroic range, just chilling, being spawn. Being the best spawn we can be, really. Um, Poxwalkers will dance. They are going to die if they just run out into Bolter time. Yeah, that was mostly about just informing Nick that, like, Bolters are real and they can't hurt you. Yeah, I think, especially, I don't think Poxwalkers are going to be worth much at this point if I don't have them. So we'll go back in our little hidey hole. Yeah, that sounds like something you would do. It does, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, Poxwalkers in hidey hole. Uh, I didn't realize the unit breakpoint was there. I should have just asked. Let's do Terminators. They're All right. Advanced. Well, while you're doing your advances, Seeks, what do we got? We got a $5 super chat from Daniel Harrison. He says, my name is Nick Nanavati, and it's time to time get Death Guard on the table. And then there's a complete 180 here. What do you think about Hellblasters now? Still bad, or is the AP5 we need? So they definitely got a lot better. I think before the change, um, you really couldn't justify them. They're just too expensive and they don't do something you need. Well, now they're really expensive, but they do something you need, which is kill other Marines. Because <clears throat> Marines have a problem killing Marines. And five Hellblasters in the open, 10 Hellblasters in the open, if you dare, uh, are actually shockingly hard to kill for a lot of armies now. So, especially in cover. So, that, that is something you can strongly consider, is including some Hellblasters. I think you couldn't before, but now I think you actually can. Do appreciate your super chat. Thanks so much. I am Nick Nanavati, and it's time to party. And we are bringing the Nick Nanavati, and it's time to party. Exactly, exactly, Jack. Don't you forget it. This guy's gonna dance. I would never. You wouldn't forget it. Never uh, forget it. I, I want to smite them. You want me to regrow a model? Them. No, them. Oh, them. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then he's in what we call the death zone. How do I smite them effectively? Oh, I can. It's not that hard. Oops, I put them here. Okay. And then we can put these guys here. Do... So is the plan to charge them with Pox Walkers? Uh, the plan is to see how my turn unfolds and potentially yes. Okay. Um, I'll put the Prince here. Uh, Prince gonna die there to Death Company. He really could. He could. If I wanted him to, he could. He definitely could. But although he's within Foul Blight spawn range, so I like that. All the everything is. So that's good. Um, that corner is not. 
No, because this is five inches. Oh, it's five inches? This is five yeah, because the reason you're measuring five inches is you measure five inches to the guy. That includes the one inch of engagement range where I would get in combat with you. Mm -hmm. And so you're making your ball and you're forting up. And this is the five inches is basically what I measure, like what Jack said. This is the aura of you can't, uh, you don't count as charging if you, if you do come at me. And don't tempt me, Nick. Three inch aura of bright glass is what the BBC has. Plague Marines will advance. Plague Marines. Uh, ten inches. They're going to get shot up by. Sanguinary Guard, if they go over there, is that so bad? I don't think so. I think they'll go over here. They go to AP2, Nick. I think they're good over here. They go to AP2? Yeah. They do, don't they? Yes. These sneaky little Marines. Ah, sneaky Marines, yes. Um, and let's advance the spawn. Spawn are moving 11. Now they're schmoving. They're just going to go into that spot. The Plague Marines were just in. They really are. Waiting for the bolters to die down. You know your best weapon against uh, Death Guard? What's that? Tape measure. Tape measure? Because you measure 17 inches and then they cannot charge you past that. Got to advance too. You can jump over me and attack him, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever. Okay. All Let's right. do some shooting face. Psychic face. Psychic face. Psychic face. I always forget that one. I know, me too, bud. Uh, we'll start off with a warp ritual from the Malignant Plague Caster. We got it. Heck yeah, you got it. Up to a three already. Check that out. Um, let's go for this guy. He's going to go for a smite. Is he closer to any of this nonsense? Oh, then he might have to go that yeah, way. Yeah, he is, he is definitely closer. Is the prince? The prince is 14.5. Yes, the prince is closer. Okay, so this one will go for my asthma of pest once. Which will fail on a five. I think I'm just going to live with it. Although it's pretty brutal. Aren't you going to die with it? I could be dying with it. That's true Does that too. extend the aura range? Or? No, that's um, the minus one to hit. Which I do like. It is good. It is it, good. It is good. I think next turn we're going to be... I don't think it's worth a CP result just yet. Probably not. You are running a little low. Um, he's going to go for the plus one strength and toughness. We'll go for that which will pass on a 10. We are going to make this Terminator unit toughness six. Yeah, now I probably won't just test their chance. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. and just be like, will you? Bonk. Um, the Prince will go for making the... Well, I could do... Doesn't he cast one? He cast... Oh, uh, I think he casts... He might cast one. If he casts one, he'll do Gift of Plagues. If he casts two, he'll also do Smite. Here, I'll look it up while you roll. So Gift of Plagues will pass on eight. That's um, correct. The Smite... Would fail and doesn't matter. Yes. Okay. You're not re-rolling a slide. No. I am not. Um, manifest one. Manifest one. Okay. Um, so the foul bite spawn is not in range to so shoot. So you did flash outbreak and it is a 12 inch radius now. Yes. Um, the foul bite spawn is not in range to shoot. It's not worth the CP to get him in range because shooting blood angels in cover is pointless. Yes. Um, um, it's also the thing Nick is most worried about here is killing one of my models. Because I can resurrect a model for free. It, once I move, I then resurrect it in front and just get a, total, a ton of extra distance Nick did not count, uh, compensate for. Yeah. In fact, I would take him killing two of my models this turn over him killing zero of my models. That's very As true. weird as that is to say. Let's try the spawn charge. Did the spawn make it? I'll probably also go into Pox Walkers. Okay. Spawn, not no. feeling frisky. So now my Pox Walkers are also not feeling frisky. You sure? I am sure. So that will be it. I am going to... Uh, I might have flash out broke at the wrong time. I want it to last into your next turn. That's what I'm going for. Ah. Um, um, yes, just make sure that... Um, uh, yeah, I might have had to do it at the start of this battle round coming up instead of when I did. Okay, you can just do it now. Yeah. Then. Let me let me see when, when it starts and when it ends. Um, right there. Right in here. your command phase. And then it ends until my next command phase. So I did it right. Yep, so I use it in my right. command phase. I'll use it in my next turn if I want. Jack, that'll be all. So I'll get Stranglehold for stealing that with some obsec. Uh, you'll get your eight. Uh, my second ritual's up to a three. Assassinates will come shortly. I'm sure. I'm sure. Same with me. <laughs> and then, Any second now. And uh, I believe that's all. So it's time to tally me some bananas. Do it. You ready? Do it. You ready? You won't. Tally me banana. Yeah, I did. You up did. to four. I, you don't make that you're up. You're still going like to try again next turn, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You already know. <laughs> All right. Command phase buffs. Um, we are going to 
So he is currently wedged right in here. Like I could just charge one of my troop units in here, move block a bunch, and just make his moving onto objectives really annoyingly hard. Mm -hmm. That does sound like fun. Okay. To me. Remember, I have heroic intervention for one for uh, one CP for Mortarian's anvil. It's true. So I would charge, mm -hmm. and then once I kill you, I will. You think you're going to kill, kill my spawn? I would love to. Interesting. I would. I would very, very much love to. Interesting, Jack Snacks. That's true. All right. So we're gonna go full rerolls to hit aura, off of my uh, my chaplain. Got that. You Monster of strength. What what rerolls are you talking about? You see this plague furnace? Mr. Seeks, what do you got for us? Got a couple super chats here. We got a ten dollar super chat from Owen Bissell saying, Let's keep the Nick Blood Angel PTSD going, Jack. No, no, no. Appreciate your super chat, <laughs> no, but not the words coming out of your mouth. Hold on, he says, gotta say, what's up with the Nogan cursors? Don't care about the Death Company pregame. Uh yeah, I kinda don't care about the Death Company pregame, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I just wanted to run as many power swords as possible. Power swords. Bonk. You know Death can make it take power <clears throat> swords. Oh, I guess I'm not running as many as possible. And, and so could the Vanguard Vets. They could actually take two they could instead take, of zero. They could take two, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got some more Seeks? Yeah, we got another $5 super chat from Mr. Matt O. Thanks so much to both of you. Hey guys, loving the seemingly wide open meta compared to last month. Think Harlequins will still be common. Curious to how much he should tech for them at Motor City. Matt O, thanks so much for your super chat. I really appreciate it. I also love the meta and how, awesome, how open it is right now. It feels really refreshing to play 40k. Yeah, for um, sure. As to Harlequins in the meta, I don't think they'll be as common. I think a lot of the Harlequin surge was because it was the hot codex and a lot of bandwagoners banned the wagon. Um, but you'll still see there's still a good army, totally viable. I actually played them last week and had a great time. Some people still play Harlequins. Uh, I wouldn't overtech for them, but they're definitely, don't forget they exist. Anything else, Seeks? Mr. Matt o was the top uh, donor of the channel last month in Super Chats, and his chosen stream match is Tyranids vs. GSC, which we'll be getting on the channel soon. Ooh. So look forward to that. And then finally, Nick Blackburn says that the strat for heroic intervention is only if a character gets charged. So you might want to clarify that one. Ooh. Oh, that's a great point. So yeah, you the, the Mortarian's Animal strat is only if you charge a character one of my units can intervene. I forgot that technicality. Ah, yes. That is a lot less... It's less usable. good. Yeah, much, much less good. Much less good, <laughs> for sure. So we're in Tactical Doctrine right now. Um, I did my chance. I'm going to hand out some rerolls right now. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to hand out rerolls to the Death Company because you're getting a little closer to me. And we're going to put... You want the rerolls? <laughs> I, I... So is he your... No, my, my actual Warlord with Gloaming Bow is, <laughs> is uh, this Fob Light Spawn buried in the Terminators. How, how do you spell that? GL Loaming over you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, so I think we're just going to shoot him again. Um, okay. So I think I'm just going to shoot you again. You, you shoot. Shoot away, Jack. I will. I will. I'm I will. just going to read my strat and make sure I, I know what how this works. So Relaptic Assault. Relaptic? Relaptic. Use this stratagem in your opponent's charge phase point. I mean, it finishes a charge move. Select any number of Mortarians and the units from your army within three inches of that enemy unit. Until the end of the phase, the select units are eligible to perform a heroic intervention as if they were characters. Oh, so I was right the first time. You charge yes. anything, and then I spend a CP, and everything within three inches can heroic intervene. Yes. So you are currently uh, sidling up into charge range. Um, bring it, Jack. You we're are... Not, we're not pulling punches out here. I know what's coming for me. I even removed my Poxwalker screens for you, so you didn't have to. Thanks, buddy. I didn't want to die to bolters, so I figured I'd save you the death. Well, this unit might die to bolters. Wow, this unit's not doing anything. It already got me the stranglehold. It's, it, it got the strangle, denied you the 12. What more can I ask for my pox walkers? It's true. What more can you ask? So we're going to put Death Company and Assault Doctrine. We're going to give them full re to hit and plus one to hit. Um, I don't know if we're going to put another unit into Assault Doctrine. It does sound like a thing. You have this battle ball that does have to split up if it wants to control objectives. So I want to peel that. You don't... They can't reach the objective. So if you want to hold it next turn, you either have to do it with Terminators that are going to definitely be spreading outside of his aura. I don't know what you're talking about. Basically, I want to smack you real hard. Well, you're not going to get the chance. Uh, that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Mm. Yes. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to try and continue the shooting, continue the blasting Nick's uh, stuff that isn't Terminators off the board, which is key. Right. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep having a fun time. So let's mark out. This is something you really want to do against Death Guard. Is you want to mark out their threat ranges. So where are the units in here? Uh, that's one of them. Um, it's basically the front five guys. 
Okay. And then the back five guys. Awesome. Back. Excellent. This so if you do you move up and declare charges, it will only be with the front five guys who will then immediately die. So I'm kind of okay with moving a little bit into charge range, but like up to here, that's bad. But back here where he can declare an 11 if he wants to move full at me, and then if he makes it, he just loses the unit in response, feels okay. Now, I could just stand here and just fire bolters down this way, which I think is probably what I'm going to do. I don't want to get as any closer. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. He can't really declare a charge. If I am here, he can declare an 11 on them. So I think we're just going to sit here. We're going to blast this off the board in shooting. If he's still on the objective, I will charge him. But... I think I'm just going to try and blast as much of this stuff off the board and shooting, blast this off the board and shooting, pass the turn back to him with my stranglehold intact, and just call it a day. You know what that is, Nick? It's a day. A day? An entire day. So this, is, this shooting angle is open, and to get in, you would have to go around your own play cronus. Oh, real quick, Jeff. We yes. both scored two points on our mission primaries on turn one. That is correct. Sieg's already got it. He, he, look at that. What so I moved my dice, or maybe you did. I not 100% sure. We'll never really know. More super chats? No. This is why I say the best weapon against Death Guard is a tape measure. Because I'm just going to stay outside of range and just shoot them. So we got two more super chats here. We got a five pound super chat from Fluff, Crunch, and Minnie saying he's been offered a sweet deal on a Knight Lancer. Is it worth adding to his soup for when knights come along? What do you think about Knight Lancers, Jack? They hit pretty hard. Um, they're really only good into big stuff. So if you do have big stuff in your meta, like big stuff, that's the Serastus Knight Lancer. It's got the lance. It's good against... Like Titans and super like big Titans. things. Like that's the level of big stuff yeah. we're talking about here. Nice. Yeah, probably one of those tech pieces in, if for you to add to your collection. Do appreciate your super chat, though. Thank you. Then we got another five, pound, uh, five euro super chat from Big Drip Mac, who says, Great to see a Death Guard back on the channel. What do you think of the Terminus S Assault Force in a competitive environment? Is it playable now? Thanks so much. Great question and appreciate your super chat. I actually went and revisited the Terminus S Assault Force right after this, this uh, balanced data sheet dropped because I was like revisiting some old forgotten heirlooms of the past. I really liked the, uh, the spell that reduces AP by two on the unit, and I found out it doesn't stack with armor of contempt. Still a good spell. Um, I think if you're trying to play tons of box walkers and do that horde style death guard, that is the best way to run it. Always has been. But um, I don't think they add much to Terminators and Plague Marines and things like that, which are the real beneficiaries of the balance data sheet. So I wouldn't say that this really synergized too well with revitalizing that assault force. Competitively, it's okay. All right. Well, what you well, got? That shining on. recommendation. Mm -hmm. All right. So, again, we're just going to keep staying out of Nick's range because this is, I mean, Death Guard, if you rumble right into them, they hurt. <laughs> like, they don't die easy. They kill you pretty good. But if you stay outside of their threat range, they're significantly easier to deal with. That's true. Um, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and set up a threat to sneak around his backfield here. Don't be sneaking. Uh, that's the only way I know how. Be sneaking. So we're going to stay on the objective. We're going to stay 17 inches away from his obsec because I don't want his obsec to get on the objective. Unbelievable. And take it away. So we're just going to be here. Mm -hmm. And what this is threatening next turn is to, if he drives his terminators forward, they can literally just walk to right here, start threatening his backfield, threatening his characters. They could also threaten to just come in here next turn and start uh, putting in the work. Right. And Jack, you took Stranglehold, No Prisoners, and what else? Uh, stranglehold, No Prisoners, and Assassin. Assassinate. So this unit also can't regrow models. So if you pull off the objective, you pull off the objective, and that's just it. That's just it. That's just that's it. the end of that conversation. There are no more conversations to be had. After that point. After that point. Obviously. Before that point, you can talk as much as you like. Yes. And that's, but, I like talking quite a lot, honestly. What you're seeing Jack do with a lot of pre-measuring, angle maneuvering, and coming up with a whole plan for the turn before actually moving models. And he's made a really unorthodox approach, Blade Angel Plane. He's not just charging straight into me, which I know a lot of Blade Angel players tend to do. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this plan, you can check out uh, our war room where we teach classes just like this on 40k theory, strategies, tactics. We don't just tell you how to write lists and spam the broken stuff. We really try to help you get better at the game. We have an awesome community where we have some of the best players in the world, Richard Siegler, Jack, myself, John Lennon, many more. 
And we have a lot of people who are just trying to get better at the game. A very positive community. It is, you, you do subscribe to enter, so it's not just a bunch of trolls. It's really people who want to learn and care about 40K and having a positive gaming experience. Highly recommend checking it out. You can become a member here on YouTube. Uh, we, we added that feature for you, so now you don't need to leave. You just click the button right there that Mr. Seeks will tell you about. We'll put it for you. Link below. Link below. Definitely the link below. Mm. The link? Why it's below. Where else would you put links, Jack? Not sure. He doesn't even know where his links are. Can you fight me? I can. <laughs> I can. I can. I can if I wanted to, but it's, you're seeing right now... <clears throat> I'm choosing not to. <laughs> <laughs> I'd really like some some more battle. You want battle? Like a little bit. You can't handle the battle. I think I can. I think I really want you to charge straight at me. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> not in a million years, Nikki. Oh, my ball doesn't even do anything. All right, so we're in tactical <laughs> doctrine on most of this stuff right now. So all the sanguinary guard shooting is going to be AP2. Yeah. Um, so we're going to just start firing shots into Nick again. These bolters in there. Mm -hmm. That's right. One, two. Da, 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 da. Bolters into five wounds of spawn. Two shooting the spawn? That's right. Oh, boy. So okay. I will get all my rerolls. I will get all that, everything that I want. And Nick will hopefully get nothing. That Jack, happens. what Please is take this? That. So that's one unit of spawn. That's cool. I can shoot them next. Jack. If, uh, if these guys die, which they did. Jack, it's AP. Yes. It's got oh, AP. this is AP1, which does actually go to AP0. Oh, spawn. so you didn't kill a spawn. So there's one wound left on one model. Uh, do this one tactic, please. Yes. Spawn. <clears throat> All right. Well, these, these fine fellows also can't really shoot anywhere other than the spawn. So we're going to put one guy into the spawn. <laughs> one out guy. Of sheer disrespect. Sheer disrespect. And the rest into the Terminators. Okay. Um, it looks like a couple of them can see this unit right here. But once I pull two, this whole unit will not be able to see. So I think we're going to fire into Terminators. Maybe we can even chip a guy over the course of the game. Nick only has 13 of them. So every one counts. So we're going to put, we're going to put two guys here. We're going to put three guys into the Terminators. Don't and you get your hopes up on shipping Terminators. Two guys into the spawn. All hit. And one wound, Nicky. Oh, he's going to live. He does. Not Luckily, I have more shots for him. Well, not too many more. Uh, enough. Into the Terminators, this probably will not do anything, but, you know, I mean, every wound against Terminators matters because he can't heal. Toughness six. Sure. Two wounds, please. Two wounds. Two up saves. Don't care about your AP. Don't care because I got light cover and armor contempt. We're taking ones over you here. You do. You do. These five guys are going to shoot here. Those five guys are going to shoot there. Jack's blowing through the intercessors. Pew, 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 pew. Right. 12, 15. 15 shots. Please reroll ones. There will be more shots for them if they choose to stay on the objective. But not if they don't. No, there will be some more, actually. Oh, well, they're getting shot either way. Yes, and, and that's, you, you that's see the solid. problem. I, I don't. I really don't. This is five saves. Yep. Six of penal pains. Uh, four going down. Uh, I think we'll just pull ourselves right off. No yeah, problem. that sounds good. Yep. This Sanguinary Guard squad put itself in 18 of the spawn, so we're going to shoot there. Oh, okay. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, twos, re rolling. Mm -hmm. And these will be net AP1, so you'll get six ups against these. Lovely. I'll get five ups. Why? Because I have a four up save. Well, I have five up save, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I was confused. I was confused too. Uh, five yeah. wounds. Yep. yep. You get six ups. Spawner towns. One spawn down. Aw, that's. One spawn down in Spawner Town? One spawn down in Spawner Town. That is, you hate to see it. You don't love seeing that, I know. Yeah. Could be better. His bolter into the one wound spawn. Okay. I just need to kill that dude. Easy potatoes. Easy tomatoes. Not so easy. All right, we're going to fire this whole unit into him. Okay, desperation station. Uh, no, just, I really want him dead. That's what that is. Twos, re-rolling. Draw near my warlord. And then fives, and you'll get six ups against these. So please take that many wounds. Five, six ups coming right up. Negative, sir. Negative. Good thing I didn't quite make the objective with my advance roll. <laughs> yep, I would have had to do something. <laughs> now I don't. Now you don't. Interesting. Funny how that works. Yep, so they can heroic anything that's over here. 
The question is, do I want to shoot spawn or do I want to shoot poxy walkers? Really, really? If I'm here, five inches, dog. I'm just, that's an inch. And then, oh, I see. Five inches. Same, same thing you were doing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, spawn actually aren't that threatening, whereas your obsec is kind of annoying, so we're just going to shoot your obsec. Who, with the sanguinary guard? Yeah. Okay. Last sanguinary guard squad. One, two, three, uh, six. Yeah, it's just all that. Yep. Pepperinos, cappuccinos. And then fours. Twos and fours. Let's make the s'mores. Take your sixes, please. All right, sixes for days, Foxwalkers. No, sir, we get lows in eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Foxwalkers. They're walking, they're poxing. What else do you want from them? Uh, he's going to shoot his gun into them. The spawn? No, into the walks Walkers. I think you can see that it doesn't matter. That one just go there. Oh, uh, you're right. He's going to go into the spawn. One into a spawn? Yep, six up save. Oh, yeah. Three left. That's going to be it for now. That's it for now. So I'm going to get my stranglehold. Yep. Uh, you're going to get a four. Yep. And uh, um, I could charge here. Yep. But I'd rather not, honestly. Yeah, keep the distance. Yeah, keep the distance. Okay, that makes sense. Um, All right, so I get my stranglehold. I get um, some more no prisoners. Um, he probably got two more no prisoner points. And I got a three on the mission secondary because I um, killed the unit that was on an objective. And I oh. took an objective I did not control at the start of the turn. Very nice. So I'll get uh, I'll go up to five. I'm not going to roll my bananas. Very proud of you remembering. And uh, let's make a plan. Let's formulate a plot, as some would say. Uh, I'll get a four. A little unfortunate. <laughs> uh, the prince might go over here. I can start threatening that objective, Jocko. That'll be a two-turn yep. response. And my next turn, I will be army-wide in Assault Doctrine, which is very nice. What do you got for us, Mr. Siegs? We've got a $20 super chat here from Greg Gonzalez. Ooh. Thanks so much, Greg. Thanks, he says, Greg. I may be running my Death Guard again. I was thinking inexorable so that I can flash outbreak additional AP1 when needed. What do you think of that, Nick? I was looking at inexorable for that extra AP. It makes you actually quite potent still, even to these new space frame armor contempts and to into just about everything else. Uh, I probably would try that out if, uh, as my other build if I wasn't trying no rerolls. Uh, I like no rerolls into Space Marine meta because a lot of Space Marine players are coming out of the woodworks. Everyone's got a Space Marine army, you know, and they just got buffed. And uh, they rely on rerolls to do damage. Turning them off seems pretty good, so we're trying that out. But Jack is out maneuvering me quite well. And next turbo lends itself to shooting a lot more. And uh, if I had some guns. Maybe he wouldn't be dancing around me like a pony. But if you had guns, there's the trade-off that I would be able to charge you much better. That's true. So, yes. you know, trade -offs. wins and woes, ebbs and flows. Do you want to flash the outbreaks? It's a good question. Um, what is my turn going to do? I'm realistically just going to waddle forward a little bit, put Ooh, a bunch of obsec terminators finally on the subjective. They're going to make it. Um, I need to defend this attack, although I don't think this attack is coming next turn. Um, could I regrow Poxwalkers onto that objective? I don't think so. I don't think so. My plague furnace is very in the way there. <laughs> um, you could try though. I could try. Uh, can I charge these guys? I could do like a smite, smite, curse of leper combo at them and, and then potentially kill them with spawn in combat and be a little aggressive, but. If you charge them with spawn, Sanguinary Guard are going to have something to say about that. Uh, Sanguinary Guard have nothing from that me. you want to hear. Nothing, no words that I'm interested in. I think we're going to go for a little shuffle. A little shuffle, shuffle. A little shuffle. Um, nothing too exciting on the shuffle. Uh, now Jack can go to Assault Doctor next turn. That makes him hurt more. That that's, is what they say. That's right? true. <laughs> We're going to put a bunch of obsec on this objective. Uh, so this is, the, uh, this is the thing about Death Guard, is that they're very powerful if you go right into them, but they're really only good on one objective. So if you play the rest of the objectives, he doesn't really want to charge you. Like this whole 11-inch thing, he doesn't really want to charge me. Because <laughs> as soon as he charges, he leaves his um, Foul Blight spawns aura. And then he is fair game. So he does not want to do that which means he's great at controlling one objective. 
Did you fly Shoutbreak, Nikki? Oh, I didn't decide. Um, I don't think I'm going to. Um, I think we're just going to keep Bob up for a turn. Because it'll be a six inch aura on turn three, which will be my entire area I care about, is what I'm thinking. It could be just a safe play to do, um, but I think I'll need my CP later. So I'm going to not fly Shoutbreak this turn. Got it. And we're going to go for some Smite World. We got to go to Smite World. Smite World! Uh, we'll leave a hole for Black Blue to advance, and then these Premiers will advance. Look at that. Six, seven inches even. That's a magic number. Um, I need to back up a tiny bit. No problem, though. You make sure you want to make sure you're within six. I don't think that guy is within five of your Yeah, ball. I think he's going to have to... There we go. So he has to stay wholly within five inches of his Foul Blight spawn so that engagement range... If I make engagement range, I'm within his aura. So it's not a six inch aura of his units. It's a five inch aura to the far edge of their base, which makes it actually very unwieldy sometimes. Yeah. Especially for an army that's trying to keep 13 Terminators in that five inch aura. They really can only cluster around him or they spread out and get, uh, I believe the phrase is clapped. Clapped? That's clapped. what the kids say these days? Yes. So what's probably going to happen next turn is that I don't send a unit out, I send a character out. And that character goes and bops an objective. We're going to give them the reroll, uh, the R2 Contaminator buff, so they can reroll one of them and shoot at this unit. And Got it. And make them take a whole bunch of tube saves that won't do anything. Okay. I'm, ex I'm as excited as you are. Um, so those are Terminators? These are three Terminators. Ah, yeah. uh, you're leaving the three Terminators out. Three Terminators out. If you want them, you got them. Uh, man, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> Good times ahead. Um, so let's advance these Plague Marines. Seven inches. Might get that light cover. I got that foul blight spawn. They're good in the hood, you know. Yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty chunky. And now we've got six models on the objective, which is great because it requires a real commitment of Jack, not just five intercessors to contest. Actually, we got seven because we got foul blight spawn. Let's make it eight because why not? <laughs> <laughs> rules. Okay. <laughs> rules. We have to They're for fools. Suggestions in this home. Uh, now, these Vanguard vets, they move 12. Where's your banner at? Banner's all the way over here. Yes. Most banner can move is 20. No, most banner can move is 21. 21. So, so he's, one to he's not getting to the. the, the he's banners. not getting them. So they move 12. So they move 12. So they move 12. They charge far because of Blood Angels, but this is. This it's is far. Working. It's a little far even for them. A little far even for them. So I could I could sneak on out here. Just try to be a little sneaky pajamas. Least think, favorite kind. I think I'm gonna. I can shoot you with a lot of this stuff. You can. I'm trying to use the solidness of my plague furnace to physically block line of sight. The problem is the plague furnace is round. So well, it's actually very easy to see around it. Well there's there's physics, Jack. We're gonna we're gonna take a good old lesson in physics. <laughs> you hate to see physics lessons. Hate to see him. I may actually honestly stay in tactical just so I get to uh, put them to four ups. You'll still be him. taking two ups. Oh, you'll be taking three ups. They'll be three threes. You're going to be for two. Yeah. But probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Let's, uh, he's, he's spawn. We'll walk. Hello. 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 I am a spawn. That's, that's the official sound of a spawn. Oh, you can heroic. That's what we decided, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's what we discussed. Yes. Is this, um, and a seven-man Sangard unit will inform you. They sure would, wouldn't they? Yeah. I would hate to be informed. <laughs> well, I know you, man. You do not like being informed. All right, we'll we'll put a pin in that idea for now. <laughs> they don't heroic right, right now. I'm safe. Right, right now, you're safe. Well, that's that's what's it. I'll even tag cover. That doesn't help. I'm a they, beast. They're beasts. <laughs> yep, they are. They are safe. They're safe. They're All safe. Right. Let's do some psychic phase then. We'll start off. Oh, he's got to be. I want to make sure they're closer for smites. Just make sure I not mess that up. Over fifteen. Yep, looks like you are. Yeah. Just coming. barely, but yeah, I think, I think the here. first smite might take me out. Uh, well, he'll start off with the first smite. Uh, well, first I'll do Warp Ritual. Then I'm going to mess that up. That'll work. Okay. And Sounds then good. So that's that guy. This one will do the same thing. Uh, we'll pop off a Miasma. No, never works. Uh, we'll do a smite. That one does pass, the first Sounds smite. Sounds good. Um, for a clean three. One, two. And looks like I'm out of smite now. 
Well, from that guy, this guy's still got quite the range to you. Well, um, just make sure, because that's over 16 now. Oh, so he's about 16 away. And, oh, he's about 15. Good point, good point. Yes. Um, well, I should have measured that better. Well, let's find him. Yeah. Um, oh, no, Prince only casts one. Uh, we could Gift of Plagues and make this a 12 inch or of no rerolls. Um, that could be pretty cool. Or we could Curse of Leper and try to do some more mortals. Curse of Leper sounds adorable. Um, Gift of Plagues, I'm pretty good on the reroll. If I do 12 inches, you're just going to stand down Wouldn't and shoot nine? me. No, because it's, uh, it's six inches going into your next battle round three. Oh, I see. The battle round makes but, it go up to six, and, and then, then it adds six, six to the range. Got yep. it. So right now it's a six inch or of no reels, which has got me for combat, except for like some extreme angles. Um, I'll cast, I think I'm going to cast Curse of Leper. I want to, I want to kill these guys, kill these clowns. Yeah, because right now that you've done zero damage, because they're just going to get healed back up to full. Yeah, exactly. And I got six to my prince if you want to go in. So we'll do Curse of the Leper. Curse of the Leper fails. Oh, brutal, brutal. <laughs> Ouch. Sure. <laughs> oh, but I would do so many mortals with this. I'm going to waste my command points, Jack. What does it go off on? I don't remember, but we'll, we're going to roll and ask questions later. Definitely not a three. Definitely not a three. Yeah. Would you like to charge them? No, I will not like to charge them. I will, though, however, inform you that I will get my stranglehold and I will reclaim this objective for two points. I will uh, warp craft up for seven. And assassinate, we'll, apparently we'll get to that, I suppose. Yeah, that's going to happen sometime, I'm sure. This was a botched plan if I ever saw one. <laughs> uh, you killed your first model. I want to know what Curse of the Leper would have done. What is it, every... every? I roll above your toughness and your minus one toughness. So you would take four mortals. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a shame we don't live in that reality. <sighs> what a stupid world we live in. Okay, um, your turn, Mr. So Snacks. I could advance a bunch of models onto the objective. Hold on, we got to do your scoring. You got your scoring. You're going to score an eight. A solid eight. A solid eight. A solid eight. It's not weak. And I think that's all that happens right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. Well, I lied to you because <coughs> now we're going to tally my bananas. But I'm going to go to oh. But I'm going to go oh. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to go up to 10 CP. Okay. All right. Assassinate may have been as much a mistake for me as it was for you. If we both score zeros, it was, did we both mess up? Yes. I don't know, I don't know about <laughs> I mean, that. I think that's actually how that works, yeah. So I think what's going to happen is we are going to Assault Doctrine. I'm not messing around with that anymore. These guys are just going to come deal with this. Honestly, I can still shoot that problem away and just leave guys here. Because now every model in my army can see them. So we're good on that. So I'm just going to blast them away, put some models here, heal them back up to full. And it's a really not a great charge if you want to try and take it. And then we're just going to keep shooting you. Shoot away. Keep shooting you. Um, the question is, do I, you, in order to take... You're going to tactical or assault? We're in assault now. Mm. In order to take this one back, you will have to leave your castle. You keep saying that? <laughs> yeah, well, now this is dead. <laughs> and they... <laughs> no? No. So, you can't make the objective unless you move terminators. And if you go for the charge, you, you cannot make the objective. So that's pretty cool. Not right. going to lie on that one. NGL. N-G-L. So we are going to do a few command phase buffs. We're going to go full rerolls to hit aura. Fails. Launcher of strength. Passes. Don't worry, Jack. You weren't getting rerolls to hit anyway. I, I, listen, I wasn't feeling that bad about it, to be <laughs> honest. Uh, we're going to give full rerolls to hit to this squad here. Mm -hmm. And we are going to give plus one to hit to the death company. And his buff doesn't do anything anymore because I'm already in Assault Doctrine. What do I need that for? I don't know. So he's going to advance. I want to see how far he goes. So he goes 18 inches because he's quick boy. The sanguinary he, man? The sanguinary priest is going to just come out to here mm -hmm. because that's not a fun charge. It's and true. if you charge him, I will heroic you with a unit that will smack you up. It's true. So that's an 11 if you want to try and declare. If you de try and declare it, you're not making the objective. It's true. It's so all that's true. pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. They're going to heal all the way up to full, the end of my movement phase. And this is where we start protecting my units with Sanguinary Guard. Yeah. 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 So, I'm pretty sure, do I even need to charge? I'll decide whether I need to charge on later on in the turn when we see whether I've killed you or not. You let me know. I will. Yeah. Thank you. So, 
I just want to stay outside 17, but I have a massive amount of movement. So we're just going to move out here because this is actually starting to threaten your castle. Like I can just come to here and charge into that. Into that. Into that next turn. Mm -hmm. So you let me know if that's a thing you are about. Yeah, I am. I really don't mind. You really don't mind? Really don't mind. Really? You really you, don't You're mind? just dancing around pretending you're Eldar. You ain't no Eldar pants. I hate being no Eldar pants. <laughs> I know what you hate, Jack. That's what I'm here to uh, deliver. Why would you deliver on that? I didn't ask for that for Christmas. We've all... I don't even know what's going on. I don't have no idea what's going on I can't on keep either. this going. <laughs> uh, I think my Plague Furnace is the MVP here. Yeah? Yeah. You, you think so? I can't think of anything that's done more. Yeah, this is kind of the problem with Death Guard. I, I can't run into you, because if I do, I'm going to get clapped. But well, if I don't run into you... I'm sitting here scoring my points. If I had taken really to the last instead of assassinate, which my it. army is built to do, uh, I'd be in a much more comfortable spot. But instead, I took assassinate. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would you do a thing like that, Nikki? Like, Jack, you know, you took assassinate. I was like, I don't take assassinate. Let's party. And then you're running away from my party. Like, I'm locked into your charge range. I started in your charge range. And you just not Yeah, charged. I could have charged you turn one. <laughs> and I it? declined. How does that make you feel? Kind of like you don't want to hang out with me, you know? It's no, like I, Nick, keep, no, I keep moving no. towards you and you keep moving away from me. It's very... Nick, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Is it because I, don't want I you smell to bad? That. No, it's not just because you smell bad. Just because. Wait, sorry. What did I say? Interesting. <laughs> I could go take a shower right now. It's right behind <laughs> us, actually. <laughs> it's... So we're just sliding down the flank. I don't think we want to slide quite this far. We do want to be able to charge this way if you start to, like, push. You, there is no way you get to that objective by the end of the game. That just isn't happening. Yeah, it's a statement you just yeah, made. Yeah, you're, you're a little far away for all that nonsense. So he's going to go there first. I think so. I'm far. Jump in. I'm not far. You're far. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't shoot my Terminators. Do you mind if I shoot my Terminators? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. 5d6 pistols and a foul blight. Were they all in range? I don't know. Um, it looks like four Ooh. in range. Is it foul bites uh, three are in range? Three? No. Foul okay, bites well, we'll, we'll, we'll waste some time here. We got three D6 pistols. Right, I'm just going to move, guys, while you, <laughs> while you <laughs> don't, do this. Do not disrespect me with this. I'm your toughness uh, four because I'm not in contagion range. But I am a plague weapon, and I reroll all wound rolls because you're within 12. And that's a solid amount of saves, Jack. Rock solid amount of saves. If I was inexorable, this would be AP1, which you would ignore. And a six of Fuma Pain for being next to my man. Take a wound. I do and, take one wound. And he's going to move away from them, so that wound's going to stick. You're, you are correct. You don't... They don't call him the Nick for nothing. That's the Nick Stradamus, as we say in the industry. Oh my god, who says that? People. People. Places. So here, that is actually, a, well, for Nick's standards, a fairly makeable charge. The problem is he's sacrificing a unit of death shrouds for... Well, I didn't take to the last, Jack. That's good. There's a critical mass where if you just run out of units, I'm like, yeah, you're dead now. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you walking away from me? The problem is Jack moves six and I move five. <laughs> yeah, my infantry don't even have to, like... And I don't shoot. So it's like, all I can do is walk and then, but this was the plan, you know, we're going to walk to the objectives, set up a tent, sing kubaya, and have a great Saturday. Great Saturday, Jack. That's, that's a good time. So Nick has unfortunately somewhat called my bluff here. I, I in fact, am not charging. <laughs> Got him. Imagine the game between the two of us has zero charges. <laughs> We're actually on track. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to heal that model back. So there's three obsec models on the objective right now. Yeah. Uh, as far away as possible. If you want to charge, you can charge with them. It would be a 10. I could just res to here. It would be an 11. And then it would be a 10 off them. Easy. Which I feel fine with both of those. So spawn can't make the objective, so we're going to res behind the unit. And this way, no matter where you charge, it's Heroic City. Right. Right. Which is just the wrong place to live. Wrong. Who's to say what's right and wrong, Jack? Me. So I have Heroic City for days if you charge anything in here. So we're just going to start shooting you again. Yeah. All right. First unit, this unit, spawn. Go. First unit, this unit, spawn, go. Yep. So this unit of Sanguinary Guard is going to shoot some spawn. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. 
These are going to hit on threes with no rerolls. Okay. And I'm not within range of my... Look at that. Didn't really need it. Didn't need it. Really didn't. And... Oh, light me up. Uh, nope. Three... No. These are spawn? Spawn. Uh, now five up saves, right? Mm -hmm. Two ones. So what's he down to? Down Just to one? one? Yep. Just the one, huh? Just the one. So they are going to throw... Uh, just out of range, they're going to throw a crack grenade at the spawn. Misses. Misses. You hate to see that. He's going to throw a crack grenade at the spawn. Misses. Hate to see that. Who's he? He He's advanced so far. He did The next so crack far. grenade misses. That's sure, that was the end of the crack grenades. Yeah, okay. His gun in here. He's looking to pick off a fellow. One wound. No, my fellow. You hate to see it. Mm. Well, you don't, but you know. You know. These five intercessors are going to shoot the spawn. Yeah, they will. Two, would. three, four, five. Once Nick doesn't have as much stuff on the board, I feel a lot more confident about, well, just scoring points, honestly. Because oh. 40k is a points based game, Nick. I don't know if you've heard. That's what they teach you in the war. Only room. one wound? That's all you got, Jack? Three wounds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this Sanguinary Guard unit is going to shoot them. Ah. Actually, this Sanguinary Guard unit is going to shoot them. Okay, some are going to be forced. That's right. four of them. Four of them. So the four that are going through the forest are going to hit on threes, real ones, because they are near my warlord, who is Big Base Bike Man. Big B. And then the three that are not mm -hmm. are going to hit on twos, and they're going to reroll ones. Dante. 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 Inferno. Force yes. one. Average wounds from Jack Snacks. Four six ups. How about three? Okay. Okay. All so right. what do you still got? You got his uh, gun, their guns, their guns. That's it. Okay. That's not so bad. And then their guns. You sure. <laughs> so their guns into spawn man. Okay, they're going through the they're trees. They're definitely going through the forest. And they he does, he does, he doesn't. So three have range. Three have range. That is the absolute it's a tragedy. <laughs> Fours. And fives. And fives. Not Good. a thing, Nikki. Excellent guns. All right. So this unit is going to shoot the poxies. Going all in. That's right. Going for the tens. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twos. Rerolling. Yep. And fours. Series of unfortunate charges for Nick. That's the game plan here. I'm just gonna roll sixes. That didn't happen. So they're in a unit on an objective that I killed. Ah, that's true. That sucks. <laughs> so I think we will probably end up charging him and just going like that and then sliding. Okay, slide. Yep, they're gonna charge. This is the first charge of the game, Nick. Proud of you, Jack. Are you excited? You should take the Blood Angel one that gets you points for charging. Oh, uh, that's Space Wolves. Oh, it's Space Wolves. There's so many in this game these days. So they just don't want to stay within five here. So if you go there, they can heroic into you. They can heroic into you. It's really a big old heroic fest. A festival of heroics. So just lightning claws. Three. I'm just going to do three first. You're winning on fives, though. I'm winning on fours. Plus one. Oh, the blood angels. So this is just three of them. The three bangles. lightning claws. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to survive yet. You never know. I get to roll my random stats. You, you don't get to. So you're already dead without any rerolls. Okay, well, you know, these things happen. Yeah. Gotta go closer to him. I'm staying within six. I'm just gonna slide up a little bit. Slide, truffle slide. So there are now five models on the objective, and it's a slightly longer charge, but they're still upset. So don't you forget it. Well, let's see. Let's see what this charge is. This charge is a. I move five, I'm 13 away. I have to roll a eight. Yes. Okay. That's it? Yep. We got a super chat, Mr. Seeks? Oh, yeah, we do. We got a five pound super chat from King Hef saying, a bit Ooh. late, I know, but huge congrats to Dr. Seeks. Thank you so much. Also, do you think the custodies' nerfs have been overhyped a bit? Appreciate your super chat, King Hef. What do you think, Jack? You're the custodies guy. Not really. <laughs> um, I, I, I do think they suffer quite a bit from the nerfs. Uh, the metagame kind of rose around them, and what they in my mind, relied on a lot of the time were those uh, defensive buffs. 
Now, I will say Ryan Snyder style list with just a lot of a lot of speeders, skimmers running at you trying to shoot you. You can probably do some success with that. I think he's pretty jazzed about that list in yeah. particular, even after the nerfs. So I would try something like that. Yeah. Things. What do we got? We've got another five dollar super chat from Delta Loco saying, "What slash how many dreadnoughts should Iron Hands be bringing in a post data slate world? Three CP for Volcon, still worth bringing with no bodyguard." Thanks so much. Appreciate you and your super chat as well. What do you think about the dreadnoughts? Uh, the dreadnoughts, they're really tough. Yeah. Like they're really hard to kill. Uh, they don't have armor of contempt, but they do have a two up natively and like four up and five up in bones, and they're just really annoying to try to kill. I'm not a big fan of the Volcons right now. But I think the Volkites lack of AP is going to hold you back from challenging these new Space Marine armies with their better saves. Oh, this saves. is about the, Vol the Contemptors? I thought this yeah. was about the uh, Galatis. Oh, I, I might have misunderstood the question. Okay. Well, I was about Galatis and Achilles, but I do think the uh, dual Volcon Contemptor has fallen off somewhat. But the double plasma cannon cyclone missile launcher guy is not bad. Ooh. I don't think he fires enough shots with the points, but we can uh, save that for the war room, perhaps. That's right. All right. Come at me, Mr. Nick. First, it's time to tally my bananas, Jack. Did I do that already? Did I do the last turn? You failed it. Failed it. Time to remember it. No. I'm still gaining one. Every okay. single time, Nick. Well, I'm going to score an eight for now. That's right. And I'm going to spread my sickness because I hold this. I didn't, oh, you not, hold not it with OBSEC. I hold see. it with OBSEC. Because Terminator's OBSEC. And Plague Marines. Look at that. Everything's OBSEC. That's right. Okay. Um... Let's start doing stuff. So we determined this was an eight. Do I want a flash outbreak? Right now, we're going to go into Jack's battle round four. So my now my contagion is maximum, or will be functionally maximum nine inches. So flash outbreak has lost a lot of value. Um, I might still do it, just because next turn Jack's going to have to hit me is the hope. So um, if you go for the charge you will, and you fail it, you will not make the objective. I'm not, I don't think I can afford to make the plan go for this charge. I'm not likely to, to make it. It's also Turbo sad. Heroics will come in and start. Tur I don't mind here. Turbo Heroics. I bring it on. I'm killing everything. Um, the question is, I don't want to give Jack a 12. I think he's going to get one if I don't contest this objective. Um, I think we're going to give this unit full rerolls to shooting. And then it's just going to shoot this unit because they're not in cover, right? Are we counting that as that in cover? That is cover, yeah. Okay. So two of them are in cover. And do, 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 do. that'll mean I'd probably bounce off of everything, unfortunately. Yes. So what can we do here? I think maybe we try to make it back by getting 12 at the end, but that's <clears throat> only going to help so much. Uh, I think we can do this. I think, all right, so we're going to... I'm going to just rumble on. I don't, I don't think I need a flash outbreak this turn. Although I only have so many more opportunities to spend my remaining command points. Um, God, I have 10 CP. What am I even using this for? These are the questions. If you go here... So this is the this. game where the Death Guard player refuses to break up their castle. Like, usually I give them a choice. Do you want to break up your castle or do you want to uh, come... I think we're good. We're just going to go for an advance. We're not going to flash out break anything. Okay. You're going to run um, to contest the objective? Yeah, do I want to? I think I'll do that. Okay. And then, um, I suppose actually. Yeah, I'll do the plague marines. That's okay. Fine. Okay. So we'll advance with these Terminator. No, they're kind of trapped in. We will advance. We'll walk with those. And they'll get the reroll to wound uh, the Archer Terminator. Okay. So his job is to finish here. Um, I can hopefully hold this objective. I won't hold it because I have five guys on it, but I'll be able to be on it and still be in, in the range. If he's going to go here, sweet. He's going to have to advance to there. Sweet. They're going to have to bodyguard him that way. So they'll advance, or they'll, they'll walk. Walk five inches. One. So they're getting the full rerolls, two. right? Re full rerolls to wound. Off yep. of uh, Arch Contaminator. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one's going to go here. Um, so he can shoot his flamer right there. Okay, let's bring the prince forward. I want to make sure we're still in five here. Yep, easy peasy. Prince can go here. He'll smite away. He's going to be unchargeable functionally. Uh, this unit will advance. 
Okay. So we're going to go seven, eight. Boink, not quite make that objective. Let's stay within five of the fouled light spawn here. It'd be super hard to charge. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Three, two, Clint's nice and safe. Yeah. All right, while Nick is moving, what do you got for us, Seeks? Jack, we got mega hype here, okay? We got a $100 super chat from Dalton Peters who says, For the people, give me that Death Watch Army of Renown, Senor Harpster. How about oh, that, Jack? I have been looking at the He's Death been... Watch Army of Renown. I've been brewing. It's true. Uh, I think you got to give it to It is a strong <laughs> army. I mean, I guess I got to give the people what they want. $100 super chat. Thank you so much. Jack has been working on an Army of Renown from Death Watch, so we will definitely get that on channel we very soon for you. Death and it we get it on the channel yeah we got that top donor for the month coming up there's about 10 days left and uh this is going to be a tight competition now so i'm excited i think the death watch army of renown is very strong that's awesome yeah for sure uh this jabroni boink all right still can i be within five here yeah easy 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 so we've got one two three four on the objective at the moment these three death shrouds will advance. Can they charge? What's this charge? Maybe they'll charge. That's a 14, so I have to roll an 11. No, I have to roll 9. You have to roll 9. Um, as opposed to advancing. Advancing on it wouldn't... Oh, I'm at mob sec. What do I need to roll the, to advance onto it? A 3? That's a lot. Or a 4. A 4, yeah, you don't move 6. Oh, it's a 2. Screw it. You CP rerolling? CP rerolling. If I get it, that's actually quite nice. Yes! Yes, we did it. Good job, guys. Obsec Terminators for the W. You know, I'm also Obsec, right? Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, then I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, it took me a second. I was wondering why you were so excited about that. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh, you're Obsec because we're at war? Yeah. My B. I'll just walk then and consider my options for the 9-inch charge. Consider it. Or I could go back, fortify this objective. That's probably important. Yeah, I'll go backwards. I think. So let's move these pox walkers. So they, who advanced here? Uh, both of these terminators advanced. Okay. Or these ones walked. Those walked. Sure. Those, walked. Those, ones advanced. Those ones advanced. Those ones advanced. These ones are in the process of advancing, but I want to move this stuff first. Yeah, they went a whole 11 inches. So these will go here. Here, they're still, they're going to get shot from this angle very hard. They really will. They really will. Um, that's okay. If they get shot, they get shot. If they die, they die. If they die, they die, Jack. That's what they say. So the most you could go is 26 inches, which the pox walkers are outside of. Okay. And I'll do a boop, 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 boop. Easy. Um, tally me bananas will move out of range. Chaos Sponicles, Sponicles will... Sponiculus? Sponiculus will... I'm back as well. Okay. Chilling. Chilling, keeping the, the home front safe. Running away, Scary saying guard. Uh, Running guys. away. They roll the two. They roll six. You re-roll this. I, I'm gonna not because you're obsec. So this is the whole point of rerolling. Oh, okay. Not, so, so you go up to four. No, no, I go up to three. It already, all that already happened. Okay. Um. Yeah, considering I'm obsec, there's really no. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna be very threatening next turn. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared. I'm real scared, you Nick. You should be. You really should be. That's. Uh, oh, that's one of them. Jeez. There we go. Okay, we did it. Units all make sense now. Huzzah. Yank. All right. Oh, Plague Marines. Plague Marines. My fine Plague Marines. Let's advance. So they have Flash Outbreak, correct? They have Flash Outbreak. So the Outbreak has broken. Touch the cover. So I have four on the objective. Let's keep six on the objective. Ooh, I'm messed with. You're not really messed with, but you're like messed with enough, I suppose. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Um, oh. Let's go to Psychic Phase. Psychic Ritual. Three for three. Easiest nice. 12 I ever got. 
Then we've got home skillet jabroni boy. He's got, uh, I don't even need to get to flags. My nine inch wars are all good. We will just go for a, a curse of the leper from Mr. Princey Town. All right, so if you do kill two models, that will take you out of his flamer range. Oh, good point. Thank you. Yes. Uh, that's okay. Mike goes off, or Chris Leopard goes off. You're minus one toughness, so seven dice you every roll four up. Four up. Uh, three mortals. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to. We're going to put one there. So if you do smite me, you are going to pull yourself out of all your flamers. Sounds good. Uh, that dude is going, the million plate caster is going to go for a smite as well. Or that was first smite, which will fail. Um. So interestingly enough, I could CP, re-roll it, and then set up spend a CP to shoot my flamer if I kill the guy. That's two CP. I'm not doing that. Um, yep, so that will put you to zero. <laughs> I'll do a minus one to hit from him instead, which will pass on a six. Finally, uh, I think we'll put that. This is my turn three. Uh, we'll put that on those plague marines. Okay. I don't want them to have anything bad happen to them. Okay, and then we will go for... Charging? Shooting. Like psychics. Shooting. Yes, so shooting. you advance with them. Yes. So we'll shoot that flamer right there. You got it. Viscous death will be a free reroll of number of shots, which I don't need. Six shots. Wounding on twos because now we're strength eight. Rerolling ones because we're a plague weapon. Don't need to. Six AP right. threes go to threes AP go to AP two. I'm in cover, so four ups on the first two. Mm -hmm. And I will spend a CP reroll on that. Okay. Still dead. Still dead. Down to nine, though. Another four up. Yep. Another four up. Oh, Jack, these fours. Jack. Oh, you killed him. Jack. And I'm out of the other flamers range. Jack. Yep. Why did you spike fours at me? Uh, we've got two guys that can shoot here. Why not? Um, no reroll wounds. I could extend their range. They're not in cover. They'll be taking threes. I'll be wounding on my chime range is extended by three inches. So they're actually a toughness three. The wounding on fours, we're rolling everything. Take a bunch of saves for one command point. Doesn't do anything. It's bodies. Um, no, I'll just shoot you with the two. Eight shots. Okay, so these are wounding on fours, uh, fives, four rolls? Uh, fours. Because you you count as a contained range because it's extended by three. Got it. And it'll be six armor saves. So six three ups and six ups. Progress. Lose a guy. Okay, Mr. Snacks. I think that's going to be it for me. All right, so they're leadership nine from him. Yep. So they don't fail. So we're just going to get a 12 so, real fast. You do not, you don't get stranglehold and you don't get in your mission primary. That's all very true. It's all very true. Yes, it is. Um, so it looks rough, but hopefully Jack won't be able to get his mission primary next turn. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to tally more bananas. Bananas are tallied. Up to four. Up to four. All right. So you can't fall back and do anything, right? You can't fall back and charge. You can't fall back and... It's true. I do a lot of mortals when you come near me, but yeah. Yeah. I could just charge you with a bunch of random nonsense. The other strategy is, I think, this is turn four. Mm -hmm. So, Richard, what do the points look like? So you got a charge. Yep. And you have two or three. Uh, I got three points on mission. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to get a zero. zero. And zero on stranglehold. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's at a 12 on psychic ritual. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, I will get stranglehold again this turn. Mission primary is looking a little sparse. <laughs> a, little, a little sparse this turn. Well, I didn't mind not getting it last turn. So I can just shoot these plague marines with a bunch. They are 10 wounds on a 3-up, so I have to do 30 to kill them. And then I can charge what's left with the plate with these uh, flying fellows over here. I can also just charge in here because I can charge out of the rerolls, the no rerolls aura that these guys have set up. We'll charge here and then pile out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then fight this unit. Mm -hmm. uh, you currently have some malls on the objective. But my odds of actually taking it, not high, especially considering I don't have any way to get to them yep. <laughs> this next turn. But what I can do is I can just shoot these guys, and then I can charge them. And I don't get re-rolls, but um, I will wound you on fours, and you will get five ups against it. Yeah. And I have a lot of attacks. That's true. And minus so, one to hit. Uh, oh, you put on them? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
They are minus one to hit, which is uh, unfortunate. So command phase buffs, uh, we are going to go. So his contagion or of no rerolls is all the way out here. So, so we're not going to do that. these are abscess, so this is yours as well. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go mantra strength. And we're going to go mortal wound. Five up is going to mortal wound. No, not today. Not today. I think that's okay. They are already going to hit on twos. We don't really need it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give hit on twos to this unit right here. Yeah. Because they're the only ones that would need it. Math checks um, out. Yeah, that's math checks out, right? Um, full rerolls to hit would only really matter for shooting, weirdly enough. Mm -hmm. Because once I enter your no reroll aura, I've entered your no reroll aura. So yeah. It does exactly what it sounds like. No rerolls. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to put that on this unit here. That's going to just shoot you. Mm-hmm. So I could start to just push up this way here to where I can 100% threaten his home objective on the following turn. That's true. So I could just come up to here. I could hop to here and attempt to make some charges. So uh, it does look like you are slightly out there on the three man. Yeah, the three man's a little bit exposed. Uh, you have to charge very much like right there. But you could. I could just pick up the three man, which does sound nice. I also do want to kill this squad of pox walkers. But I could also just run this way to where next turn I'm just I'm just taking your home. You're just attack. taking it. Just taking your taking home. Taking it away. So I do like that because that is gonna make your life uh, miserable. <laughs> Honestly. S sad pants? Very sad pants, hopefully. I wanna so, be a happy banana, Jack. I do not want you to be a happy banana. If we keep up this trading game and we each get eights from here on out, I feel like I'm in a good position. Because you're not getting assassinate unless I give it to you. You're gonna get it to me. Neither are you, though. Neither am I. <laughs> no, that is, it's funny how that works. It is funny we could, how that I, works. Not, I am giving it to you. All my characters are right here in the middle of the board, hanging out. I can't really charge them, though. I mean, that's a you problem in an us world. Damn, I didn't think about it that way. You've got to think about things more, Jack. So I could advance OBSEC onto here. Uh, you have four models that aren't these. Uh, yeah, four models that are not this. So I could grow back a third one. Not, not four. Not, not what we're looking at. <laughs> um, honestly, these death company kind of aren't going to do very much. They could come up. I could charge all the way in here and then base everybody in here with these. Um, little tack dudes. The little tack dudes, mm -hmm. which would have the benefit of you kill my tack dudes, I punish your unit real hard, which I do like. I do like that. It's true. I could also kind of do the same thing with these two guys here. Now, I wouldn't get plus one to wound, and I wouldn't get plus one, plus two to my attacks, which is... I wouldn't... Oh, because you don't count as charging. Because I don't count as charging. Oh, Blood oh, Angels Blight love Spawn. to charge. Oh, Blight Spawn. You they good. are all about that charging life. You good. Um, I don't think Nick can really take both objectives and be in foul Blight Spawn range. So I think next turn I will actually get to hit him pretty hard. It's so always I, next turn. It is. It is, <laughs> until you give me a reason not to. So we are going to just... Yodel up to here. Yodeling? The oh, Sanguinary yeah. Guard yodel now? They do. They, can I hear an impression? No. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No, you cannot, Nick. <laughs> I want a true line of sight. These stalactites. So are they're not, they're not shooting you. Good. Because there's stalactites. In but the next way. turn, yikes. You like that? Good use of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hill now? It's been a hill. What else would it be? Great question. A canyon. The Grand Canyon. Are there Grand Canyons in the 41st millennium? Millennium. Millennium. Malignant Melasma Fire. <laughs> Melasma Malignant Fire. What are they doing? They're just going to shoot you. Um, actually, Can they, they do something a little more ambitious with their lives? Yeah, they're going to walk up this way. Oh, they're going to walk up this way and shoot me. Attempt the violence. Yeah. Because I hold this one already. I do want to get something in range. It's a... Slightly irk me. Yeah. Good. We're going to come this way. Because this is not a forest, apparently. This is a hill. It's a hill. <laughs> you, I can place my malignant, my asthmic malignifier within three inches of a hill. What's up, Mr. Seeks? Got a five pound super chat here from King Hef once again. Thanks so much, King Hef. How long until we see Dr. Nanavati with Ooh. his revolutionary thesis on how flamingos don't fly? 
Uh, Dr. Nanavati's in the works. You'll actually notice right now on my shirt, if we can get a close-up zoom cam, Mr. Siegs, I believe we have that kind of technology now. Uh, are, these flamingos on my shirt have wings, but are not flying. They're Wild. firmly on the ground, the one foot extended. So what, what is the further, answer for that? Furthering the thesis. But yeah, well, not, not too much longer. That doctor is, uh, it's in the pipe just like the Lord of the Rings essay. This is the Chaplin bike that Nick loves. He's a dead man walking. I'm going to minus one toughness, drown him in dust shrouds, drown him. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited for you. So we're going to put the <laughs> the sanguinary guard to where they'll just, you know, heroic you a little if you try that. I'll fight them too. They're all dead. <laughs> excited for it. Good. So he's on the objective, and he's going to be on the objective with OPSEC. Now who's the rights of war, Holmes Gillard? This guy right here. This guy right here. The banner? The banner. The banner. The banner man with a banner plan. Banner dishes. Banner redo dods. Jack, I gotta say, you play Blood Angels not not aggressively, and I, I miss it. I miss the old good old punch him in the face, Jack. What happened to him? He, uh, yeah, he died of fire death. <laughs> he died of fire death. Now he played Blood Angels like they're slower white scars. Is that what's happening? Uh, well, they hit you harder if you decide you want to do something. I, I, I'm seeing how hard they hit. You're really demonstrating to me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't have anything else to say. What do you want Minus to say? Minus two Dave? for those trees. Sure. I think they're just going to sidle. Sidle? They're just sidle. If they don't move, they can count as stationary for the purposes of bolter drill. Rapid fire weapons, the kinds that they have. Yes. These assault inter these auto bolt rifle intercessors. I lost the man. Where'd the man go? I shot the man. Oh, one of these guys died. He's actually in the squad. Oh, well, no, because I shot this unit, Doctor. You shot this unit? Yeah, with the flamers, right there. And you shot that unit, I thought. I shot this unit. Oh, you shot you that unit? Okay, all right. I all wanted right. to shoot the unit that didn't get a two up save. Yeah, fair enough, I mean. <laughs> fair enough. All right, then I'll give them rerolls uh, at the start of the turn instead of the four man. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess they'll all touch terrain so that they can see through it and just shoot down there. And Good. Really not do much, but that's not the point. Good. It's just not the point. Great. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Nick. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, what do you think is going to happen after I destroy you? When's that happening? Next turn. Okay. Yeah. That's been the theme of this game. So you can charge me at this point, but the heroics are going to be ruinous. Yes, I see the Blindle Castle is shifted along the back end of the entire board. Yes, the... It's actually not any different. This is just moved from here to there. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, so I don't love the fact that you can just take my objective next turn. I, I've really been slowly trundling. Um... <laughs> it's just going to happen. Yep. <laughs> It just is. I don't. Uh... So that's the plague flail. So you're almost certainly going to keep that guy alive if I shoot you and do some damage, which I probably won't even do, to be honest. True. Um, you can take my objective back, which would give me a four. I don't love a four, to be honest. I'd love, I'd love another course. eight for free. Um, but yeah. not much I can do about that at this point in the game. That's true. I could just charge you and just be like, I have a million attacks. Hopefully, this is going to be fine. Bring it. Is my asthma in combat as well? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. So I could charge you. You do have a plague flail. Plague flail. Right. <laughs> so I could just charge you. You do have a plague frail, as you said. So I'm going to give myself that option. I'll stay outside 17 of these guys so they at least can't if I decide I don't want to and I'm a coward. It's important but to But what I am going to do is force you to charge me if you want to get on the objective. I'm happy to charge you. I Listen, buddy, I hear you. All right, we're going to shoot you. Just a little, though. Impressive. Yes. The only way I know how. I know. Uh, we're going to regen this model, though. Boop. Boop, boop. So there's three, four models on the objective? Four models on the objective. Four models on the objective. With Obsective Jakeard. Yeah. That's the one. All right, shooting you. Uh -huh. This unit here, shooting downtown. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five. Three, four. Because you killed one, you monster. Everybody look alive. Minus one to hit. Oh, that's right. I was getting minus one to hit anyway. So. Right. Minus of many. One. one. Two up. We're good. Cool. Yeah, this isn't going to... I just want to kill one model. Man, is that too much to ask? I think it is, honestly. Grenade <laughs> off the unit. <laughs> Misses. You, you monster. <laughs> Trying to get... I've run out of things that just die when I look at them. I'm playing Death Guard. <laughs> Shooting there? Yeah, you have a surprisingly large amount for a Death Guard player. 
I didn't take tanks. <laughs> Are you in rerolls? No. I gave myself rerolls at the start of the turn. Yeah, but I, if, there's, if you're near me, you can't. Not. I'm not in the no rerolls. If that's what you're. That's asking. what I was asking. Four. Four, Four twos. No. All right. Well, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> That's not happening. Anybody can stop Plague Marines. We are going to shoot here to try and get some... Uh, some chip termies? Some, some chip termies. Oh. So... 12 hours. Why don't you just do all three squads? I, I, all right. Uh, two of them are hitting on twos. So okay. I'll do this one separate. All right. Hitting on threes. Just give me the total at the end. Tell me my tab, if you will. Your tab is going to be one. Oh my this God, is really this racking is gonna, it up. <laughs> this is not going to do anything. Uh, those all hit. That's the next unit. Oh, one, two, so five total. Okay. Ten total. Ten total. You're gonna wound a Terminator now. I might even do two. If you kill a model, I'll be upset. I'll be upset, Jack. If you kill two models, then we're gonna we're gonna shut the stream off. <laughs> <laughs> so grand total of thirteen plus some more. There's more. The ancient. No. The other guy doing the other thing. Chaplain man. Yep, 15. 15. 15 two ups. Rock and sock and robots. Oh, grenade. I'm out of grenade range. If I lose a model, I would honestly probably CP reroll it. But we'll get there when we get there. I wouldn't lose a model. I might CP reroll it anyway. I'll just not. I'll just, I'll just not. One guy takes two ones. One cool. One Back okay. to you, Nick. That's all you got. So I get my stranglehold. Oh, um, depend, depending if I want to charge there, I definitely want to be the one to hit you, and I get my charge bonuses, and plus one to wound and whatnot, so I will actually charge you back. You are going to go for the charge. Yes. You're, uh, you will count as charging, you just won't get rerolls. Yeah. Yes. Um, now, I do get a stranglehold on this turn, and I don't let you get onto the objective. Do I think you're going to wipe the entire squad? Or is the flake flail going to kill the whole squad? Uh, it shouldn't. What's well, its AP? So it, there's a lot of things I can do to these Marines, because they're, they're a little more than the meets the eye. They will have, uh, let's just give you the whole rundown. There are two attacks each base. The Plague Fill will make two attacks per attack with Shock Assault. He'll have six attacks. Do they have uh, Hateful Assault? Yeah. They, they gave that to them. Oh, no, I think they, they no, broke they the, they it. Baked here, it in. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Oh, that's so much worse. Okay, so he'll have four attacks. It's only AP2. It's two damage each. It's Strength 5, and I'll reroll ones to Wound. I have the Bubotic Axe, which is another AP2 weapon. This will be wounding you on twos, and then it's one damage each. Everyone else has Plague Knives, which aren't too effective, but for one CP... Bubotic Axe is strength six? Yeah. Oh, because I'm be toughness three off that. And then my Plague Knives will give me an additional attack. Um, there's two two Plague Knives for each guy, <clears throat> so they'll... Uh... Not all of them will get to swing, so I no. will charge you. And then I can make them AP4 on sixes to wound. The plague knives. Well, luckily, I don't know if any plague knives are actually going to get this way. We'll find out. Uh, the, the one certainly, the axe isn't. So we'll I'll find out. Yes. Do, do your charges. So we're going to go here. We are going to base you with one guy, so this guy does not get to move. Okay. So you will only get probably that guy too. Uh, probably that guy. So you get three guys into the combat with mm -hmm. me. Okay. Nothing too shabby there. Let's see and what my half an inch and. He's going to base. Let's He's see what go strats can do here. Plague Marine's got a lot of weird strats. So I can make... Uh, any plague weapon would be AP4, not just knives. Sorry, for 1 CP. AP4? Yeah. If I, 1 CP, 6 is to wound, AP4. Oh, 6 is to wound. Yes. All right, well, let's see. I'm going to hammer wrath you because I have an infinite number of CP. Okay, you have to roll above my toughness? I have to roll equal to or above your toughness. Okay, so fives. So, one mortal wound. One mortal wound. I'm yep. hoping to kill a little more than that, but that is okay. And we're just going to swingle at you. Okay. Fours and fours on roughly a lot of attacks. I think I do have to roll a little good here, but I can't just let the unit just take my objective. And it would be a huge deal if I just like, well, ah, mm. you can't get that. So, fours. Really hoping. You're not attacking with the last guy? Uh, the, no. The four man? Yeah. Fours, no re-rolls. Good, good, good. And then fours. Oh, great wounds. AP three. AP goes to two because... Uh, you have five ups. So you have five ups. We might see... Oh, wow, that went terribly. Uh, nine would kill my entire unit. That would be game ending. So let's re-roll one of those. I do have chain swords coming in. I mean, great. If I just roll so bad, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Never Squad's mind. dead. Cool. That's probably game. Because that's that whole flank. But we will find out. So they're not going to go any closer to you than they have to. So that's going to be right there. Yep. All right, so I'm going to get my stranglehold. 
Mm -hmm. And Nick's going to get an eight. Yep. And back to you, Nikki. That's tough. All right. So we've already tallied bananas. We're going to go up to four CP. Uh, I will get my eight, which is lovely. Unfortunately, those play means dying is really bad. Uh, do I want to flash out break? What do we got, John? So first up, I want to just give a quick shout out to Bonsai Kidding Gaming with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much. They say, just wanted to plug the war room. I've learned more in the last three weeks. It's crazy. The community is so friendly and helpful. You guys rock. Bonsai, yeah, Bonsai thank you so, so much for that support. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Ooh, we actually just got the super chat in from Owen Bissell as well. $10. Unfortunately, this is a question for Siegs, and uh, I, I'm, I'm not Siegs. No. But if something possessed you to run Bloodlands at an event, would you run Jack's list, or is there some spicy Art of War disagreement between what a Bloodlands list should look like between uh, Ooh, Jack and Richard? That is an interesting question. Oh, man. Uh, I would trust Jack's on it myself. He's yeah, done, I mean, maybe I would add, like, a Whirlwind, but other than that, I think uh, <laughs> the Blood Angel uh, list right. that Jack runs is pretty good. John hates the Whirlwind as much as I do, but um, he just likes naming on me. So the question is, I have to flash out break, or I have to decide on flash out break, grow these box walkers a little bit, anything like that, I have to decide now. I think because this Plague Marine debacle occurred, and that's the only word for it is a debacle, I have to hit this charge. I move five, I am just over 12 away from this guy. So it's a seven inch charge, which isn't the greatest thing I've ever heard, but we'll roll with it. Um, I think there's no point in flash out breaking because I think we're gonna move this way with the castle and just hope these two meters hit the seven to get over to that objective. And if they don't, it's gonna be ugly. Uh, let's do that. Could be. I think you have called we have waited, danced around long enough, Jack. So right um, here. Can I see that for one second? Sure. So. In front of his base. I overmoved, I overmoved. I'm sorry. Very good. Okay. There you go. Sure. I mean, was that right? That yep. wasn't right. because My front would be in my demon prince. So that couldn't be right. I'll just move him from right here. That sound like a reasonable spot for where Sounds he was. Great. I'll move him carefully, and he's going to move five inches right to there. All right. Okay. And this charge on these Vanguard Vets is within four, so yep. I have to roll a three. Yep, you should be able to do that pretty good. On Sanguinary Guard, I'd have to roll seven. On Death Company, I'd have to roll seven. Right. If you charge the Sanguinary Guard, the Sanguinary Ancient will heroic in and make you fight him instead. Okay. I'm going to do all the things. Okay. Just Did figured you... I would warn you because that is definitely a trick my army can do. Oh, for sure. You got lots of tricks in here. Did you want to activate Flash Outbreak? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think he's just going to follow around with it. Okay. Um, it's already a nine inch aura everywhere. I could activate it here. I don't hate that to turn off the rebuilds there, especially from lightning claws. I think I will, just to be safe. Just to be safe. So they'll have it. They'll have flash outbreak. So this dude's gonna come over here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. These dudes five inches. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. This is where you crash into my castle, Nick. Crash in the castles. So over here. Uh, I think we can just walk away um, from the scary sanguinary guard. You're just going to walk away we're, from we're me? We're just going to walk away. We'll even advance away. That's how intimidating this is. Okay. Very far over here. Ooh, someone's scared. Uh, actually, with 10 inches, we can go pretty far with that. So we'll go all the way over here. Okay. And they can't charge. That's correct, yes. But they are here. Do. Well, I can't heroic into you, so that's all right. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Um, tally me bananas. We'll just follow around. He'll advance. He doesn't want to get charged either. Uh, seven. He doesn't want to get charged? He don't. He don't. And Sponicles will advance. They don't want to get charged. Sponicles. Leaving the objective. Well, I will take it with Sanguinary Guard. Thankfully, it's still mine. I will take it, though. That you can do. Yes. Uh, okay, I think that's good. Um, what does the prince want to do? He doesn't want to die. He's really tough. He could probably go in here and kill a bunch of death company. They have four rerolls to hit. So if you charge me and you want to, I can just interrupt on you. You can make the rerolls just turn off. You could. You'd have to flash outbreak, right? No, I'd have to cast a spell. Ah. 
Um, and within 12 of, of the foul the bite fella. Spell. Yeah. Yep. Um, he would they just are a plus one to hit, so... Oh, they're not re-rolls to hit, sorry. They were re-rolls to hit, so right. they are just hitting you on threes. Got to give them plus one to hit. Okay. Um, they would be wounding you on twos. Yeah. They would hurt. They really would. They'd flat damage three. Flat damage three. AP two only? AP three because assault option. AP three because assault option. So I'd be taking uh, two You'd be taking four ups. Goes to four ups. Yeah, that would hurt. I'd have to start there because the interrupt would annihilate me. Which means... Potential heroic intervention from sitting on your guard could also annihilate me. That's the life, you know? That uh, is the life. Or I'm conservative with the prince. He comes this way. That's a far charge, but then he definitely doesn't die. And he could probably live to fight another day over here. There are no certainties in life, Nick. That's true. That's for sure, Jack. Uh... He's going to advance. We're going to give this five man the reroll wounds with the Arch Contaminator. So, the thing about Death Guard, if you're playing Blood Angels, because I know a lot of Blood Angel players struggle with this matchup, is that you can, they can make it really obnoxious to charge them. But as you're seeing, he can totally charge me right now, but the charges are just not fun for him. Like, you can also make it hard for him to charge you. And because, especially if anything he charges with is going to die on the return, because you count as charging when you charge into it. I could use the prince with some more trickery to try to blunt your heroics here. Could do that. Um, I don't think that's good. I think the prince needs to come this way. Yeah, because I, I would heroic sanguinary guard into him. So and let's, then make let's you fight whatever prince. character it is you're trying to avoid. Prince is going to advance 13. Prince that was promised. Prince that was promised all the way over here. And he can still get the plagues all the way back there. Lovely potatoes. All right, love them potatoes. This dude and this malignant plague caster. Actually, I'm done with psychic rituals, so I might as well use these to do some smite action. Hot smite action. Although, if I do that, then I'm going to uh, be really close to charges. So, no, I think survival is more important. Yeah, each one of those is a little. Three points. They're each three points, yes. This is going to run away. Excellent. Right next to the van vets. Right next to the van vets, where it's safe. <laughs> um, uh, let's do some charging, shooting, psychic, that one. Um, Prince will do Gifted Plagues on this guy. Okay. Which will fail, I think it's a five. Might even be worth a CP. I'll have to think about Good that. Good get to. Here we are. Um, gifted Plagues, oh, extends the range, so it takes away a lot of my rerolls. Yeah, it'll take away rerolls just about everywhere if you come into me. They're all, most of them are gonna hit on twos. Uh, what is, which one is that? Gift of Plagues is well. Uh, Gift of Plagues goes off on a six. Six. I think it's worth the reroll. Okay. I'm going to go for it. Still fails. So critically, you do not have an interrupt on the following turn. That's, well, maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. i got to oh, tally my bananas. Oh, that's true. you got to tally the bananas. Um, these guys, we'll do minus one to hit. I think we'll put it onto the five-man Terminator unit here. That'll pass. All right. We'll make them plus one strength and toughness. Solid. Which will pass. That will pass. And we will. Minus one, plus some strength, toughness. The rest. Oh, I guess they'll take two mortals because I rolled sevens on both of those. They would be oh, twelve. They do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna pull the closest model. That shouldn't change the charge. Um, Are you closer to your within the same range of both? I believe so. Okay. There you need to roll seven. Should be seven. There you need to roll seven. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pull the one in here because that way your charge has to go like further out and around. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. That all sounds good to me. And then let's go to the shooting phase. So we'll start with the Viscous Death Foul Blight Spawn at the Five Death Company. You got it. He's going to roll five shots. What a champion. Seems good. Wounding you on twos because you're minus one toughness right now. That's also strength eight. And reroll ones, four AP threes. Go to so AP, AP two. So I get five ups and it's damage two. So I'm going to pop Heal five pain. feel no pain on him. Yeah. So five ups. Ooh, Ooh, that is good start. not what I'm looking for. So first one, one. dies. Second one. Takes a wound. Takes a wound. Third one. Dies. So and there's two down. Two and a half. Two and a half. All right. So I'm going to take the chain sword. I'm going to take one hammer. And that's it. We'll shoot the four flamer pistols at them. Flame me. We've got 14 shots. Okay. Four, eight, 12, 14. Uh, forced wound. We're rolling everything. Okay, because you arch contaminated them. Yes, sir. Uh, Seems good. It's going to be 12 armor saves. Nice. Three ups. And I still have the five up feel my pain. Yep. 
people with we that. We will get them. Uh, looks like four. you did four wounds. So four we'll pull that, pull that, and there's going to be one model left here with a wound. Very frustrating, but it is progress, so I can't complain too much. Don't have anything else that can go into them. Uh, we have three flamers plus the one guy who didn't shoot. We'll shoot these Vanguard. Okay. One that didn't shoot before. One shot. Wounds. Okay, two up. Good. Three. There's a guy in three. cover. Yeah, it's, this is not much. Um, fours and rerolling ones. It will be just three armor saves. Okay. All good. Okay. I um, think we're going to go to the charging times. Start off with the seven that I need to hit, please. Eight is great. You got it. You Eight had to do it, and you great. did. Okay. We'll go all the way up to here. And then we'll swing out like this, so he'll be the one to get to that objective. We'll slam here. Everyone, maybe he won't attack. We'll find out. I think I'll leave. I'll leave an obstacle on the objective. This doesn't matter. That's good. Oh, I'm stuck on the objective. You're good without it? Uh, it doesn't matter if you come and take it, except for your stranglehold, but I'm assuming you'll figure that out. Yeah, probably. Um, these three will charge both the, well, maybe just the, it's a four to the Vanguard. It's a five to both. I have a CP rule. I'll charge uh, the Chaplain and Vanguard vets here. Okay. Seven will do. Got it. Yeah, if you had to spend a uh, CP reroll, then you would no longer have. Yeah, I'm a little afraid rocks. of that. But. Yeah. And so you still have to make a good. seven on two dice to get it. I don't. If I want to go over here. No, no, no. Uh, I'm saying to get. Oh, to, to, to get that. To get up to two. These five. So if they charge out, they'll leave that five-inch awesome range. Yeah. And honestly, because they made it, I think I'm happy. I'll stay outside of their heroic. Uh, is it possible? I thought I was made sure I was in. Uh, I'm just gonna move this ruin because that doesn't matter for my placement. So right there. I think is a spot. I know your intent was so you could just move up a little bit. So are you not charging the chaplain then? If I have to not charge the chaplain, I won't. You charge. would have to. Oh, I rezzed the model. Oh, point was one inches forward. Ah. Yeah. If them gets you before it gets you. You get Yep. Me. Yeah. So the chaplain, I think, is going to heroic into combat. I'll go for it. Okay. Um, he's super hard to kill. He um, is. Uh, so I, where are you selecting to fight first? Uh, that's a great question. I don't think I'm too concerned there. I'm minus one to hit. Or they're minus one to hit. They're toughness six. They're just guys. You. That's not going to go too poorly. But I said that last time. That is what you said last. Like that's literally what you said that's last time. That's literally what yeah. I said last. Time. There's no invuls there though, right? No, there's no invuls. So they'll just be taking five ups for most five of my ups, attacks. Yes. Uh, here I just have to survive this. We're talking about this chap one. So he is, he does not have Mantra of Strength up, because I believe I failed it last time. You turn. failed both, yeah. So he has six attacks at AP two, damage two. And do you plus one to hit, uh, sorry, hitting on twos, wounding on twos, uh, with a reroll to hit and wound. No reroll. Uh, no reroll. That's not going to do anything. I'll start up there. Okay. Okay. Um, do. I definitely would have interrupted over there if he'd let me. Yeah. It's a lot of attacks with real hits and wounds. I'll pile them this way. Or not real hits and wounds, but real. It would be because I have one CP real hits against uh, Chaos. So what we're going to do right here is right now this Terminator is closest to this model. And we're going to pile in around to right here, not basing anybody. And this one is going to be the new close one. I'm still not basing anyone for the purposes of my consolidate. Yep. This is some worm chicory. So even if I whiff on this unit, I can still get my consolidation around to steal that objective. We teach that in the war room, in our war room live session. Same thing, this guy's going to be closest over here. Okay. Um, war room chicory. I'm going to go all the way out here, really. And then... So you have five guys in that unit with three attacks apiece? Five guys with uh, three attacks apiece. He's not one of three for bodyguard. Oh, you don't shoot. I'm just being youthful. Uh, you're not bodyguard anymore. Bodyguard has gone. Look out, sir. Yeah. Oh, just look out, sir, yes. Well, they have bodyguard. It's just different. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's true. Where's that death guard book? Uh, it has gone to, they provide lookouts, sir, even for models one or two. Yep. Are you looking for their profile? Yep. There you go. Four attacks apiece, five for the champion. Is okay. everybody getting to swing? One, two, three, yes. Four okay. regular dudes, five for the champion. This is not the unit with the Reaper of Entropy. So just all the three. Uh, twos, I believe. I think they're weapon skill twos. They are, but they are minus one to hit minus if they do their smash attack. And the, yeah, I'm using smash. So reroll ones for the prince, and then we are strength. Uh, enough Strength, to wound me on twos. Enough to wound me on twos, and I get five ups against it. Yeah. So 
it seems highly unlikely that uh, and plague weapons. So all those AP threes go to AP two. Yeah, we're good here. Okay, peace. This unit has done great work. And we will Very consolidate proud. towards those glorious intercessors that are closer, closest. Three inches this way. Three inches this way. Do, do, do. Yes, I think you have taken that objective. And we'll get back within three for whatever that matters. Don't think it does. All right, over here I'm going to make you fight my chaplain. Yeah, I figured. Um, and I have the CP, so I'm just going to transcend. Makes sense. You're not re-rolling all wounds. No, just once. Okay. So threes to hit, no re-rolls. Don't need them. Cool. Strength eight, you're down in toughness five. So, so threes. Fours, because transcend. Fours, because transcend. And re-rolling ones. Will only be five in this. Okay. So I am going to get a four up against this unless I pop my three up. Um, and also, at the moment, you don't control this. That is correct. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I do not. So I think I'm going to take. I'm going to take these on my four up. I can pop my three up later if I feel like it. Okay. Ooh. Takes four damage. He gets that. to reroll one of these for free. Takes six damage. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, have I gone? Have I greeted too hard? Takes four. Of Takes them. four. He's got what? Four left. He's got four left. Okay. So I'll take my next one. Cast it. Now I can't die. We're good. Okay. So punching you back. Punching back. So they nobody can reroll hits against you, but you did charge them, so they're going to have plenty of attacks. Yep. So da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. these will take you to your four up. So threes. Mm -hmm. I just need to kill a couple models, which is a little difficult, not going to lie, but I just need to kill a couple in order to get the objective back. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, three. I'll didn't consider work. CP. No, I won't. Uh, good, not good. Takes one damage. Takes one. Chain swords. Mm -hmm. And fours, and then these will take you to a three up. Because uh, these are AP2? These are AP2. Okay. Assault damage. Uh, we'll do another wound. Okay, I just need to kill one, and you don't hold the objective. Not that that matters. I'll need You'll to have kill to kill two. two to, All right, yeah. so it's unlikely to work, but the chaplain's going to hit you. So unfortunately, no rerolls is going to hurt pretty bad there. Two wounds. Two wounds. Take your three up, so it will kill a model. Kill that guy. But I tied up both units, and I hold the objective, and that was the goal. That is, I think, okay. So that'll be it. Uh, they owe me a morale check. They do. So they are leadership. Are they within range? They are within range, so they're leadership eight. Right now they lost four, so I believe they're leadership seven base, which is a little low. Now I have a ton of CP, so I don't really worry. I've gained a lot during the course of the game without spending any. Mm -hmm. um, one model, now the benefit of one model is that he can run all the way out to here, res a guy in front, and then charge into a character. Yeah, that'd be annoying. That would be super annoying, and I can stay out of your heroics. Mm -hmm. So they would just get me three points. They would take that objective down, which all feels real nice. So we're going to spend two CP and just keep rolling. Okay, um, so that'll be it. Uh, my turn, I will get Stranglehold. Uh, no assassinate still. Um, that'll be that. Okay. Did uh, you score any points on the mission, Nick? Uh, I will get three points on the mission this time for killing that unit off. So, okay, so there's two characters here and a five-man squad. Yep. So Jack scored a zero on his previous turn, and then I scored a three on this turn just for keeping the mission score straight. Sounds good. Warp Ritual is a 12. Uh, uh, the no, last no, one? I scored a... On the turn where I, you couldn't kick me off, I, you killed the Plague Marines off, so you scored a two, actually. And I didn't Very hold annoying. this objective. Oh, I did score this, so I got a two for mission. Yeah, you got time. two because those Plague Marines. Wow, those Plague Marines cost me a lot. Um, so does that put Jack at a 10 total for the mission bonus? He would be two, three, two. Two, three, three, two. Three, two. Okay. Yeah, so 10. And then I will tally my bananas. No bananas. No interrupts for Nick. That's okay. Don't really need it, right? I really don't think so. So I think I'd just swarm all this and try and kill that, as mm -hmm. well as taking your home objective. What does your uh, primary look like, Jack? Jack's going to get a good old four. I am going to get a good old four this turn. Mm -hmm. Nothing good about it, Nick. <laughs> so these guys are going to run back onto the objective. Um, this is my this is the last turn of the game. Yep. So what do the points look like, John? All right. So uh, looks like right now the total is 68 for Jack to 58 for Nick. Close game. Close game. So I do need to make sure you don't get a 12 at the end of the game. I think that's happening. Um, what do we think the no prisoners is like right now? 
Um, well, we can count that out. Yeah. Jack Scott. Uh, Do you want me to go over your scoreboard, Jack? Just in general? Yes, please. So right now I have you as uh, eight, eight, twelve, four, on primary with a ten on the mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I have you at a uh, twelve on stranglehold, a four on no prisoners, and a zero on assassinate. That is correct. So the as no, long as the no prisoners is no, correct. no prisoners is you've got six spawn for twenty four wounds. You've got twenty six pox walkers for uh, plus some because I killed some out of that unit. I'm getting there. Okay. You got twenty six pox walkers for fifty wounds. Fifty wounds, and then you've got a handful of theirs, so like fifty seven, fifty eight. You got a couple term a terminator, so we'll call it six wounds. And then the plague marines. And the plague marines will put it up to seven. So that will take it up to eight with the plus one. Yeah. So you've okay. killed about seventy wounds. You have eight points. So I need to not give up any of my characters, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I could run away and take your small win victory, the very blood angel way. Mm. Is that what it is? I mean, you do you. So I just need to make sure you don't score a twelve. I think is what we're gonna do. So you can't charge. You can't jump over this wall unless you're advancing, so we're going to just walk onto it with two units where you can't charge both. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can't charge both, which means OBSEC is going to stay on this objective, this here objective. They are going to advance. They're going to go 12. Yep. So you can't take this objective back from me because you can only charge one of them, and both of them are OBSEC. So that is nice. Yep. So that is going a decent way towards... Guaranteeing you're not getting a 12. So you're not getting that objective. All right. What other objectives can I guarantee take from you? Well, if I take this objective away, you do have to come back. And Sanguinary Guard don't not hit hard. So I do like that plan. Alternatively, if I just cripple this unit um, and kill some characters in the process, I feel like that would also lock up the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of okay with all of that. Let's toss out our buffs. Um, they're going to get plus one to hit because everybody else is going to hail in twos. Mm -hmm. uh, full rerolls to hit does not matter. So, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, unless, so it's a nine inch range on him? Yep. All right, yeah. So full rerolls to hit are not going to matter because you're turning all that nonsense off. Um, so plus one to hit is going on them. Uh, and mantra of strength goes off. Full rerolls aura does not matter. So we're going to go um, the five up against mortal wounds. Okay. Which fails. So mm -hmm. he is now beefier and buffier. Beefy buffs. That's right. So these Death Company men are just going to run over here. Impressive. To where they're just going to get healed up. Yep. And then the question is, do I want to just crump down on this unit? You can actually get 12 at the end of the game, and I think it's going to be okay, because you won't get any bonus primary. Mm -hmm. uh, you might get a 2. I'm definitely going to be getting at least a two because I'm going to have this objective and we're going to just try and go from there. So okay. what I would like to do is I would love to just charge in here with a four-man squad. Yep. And then just tag a bunch of stuff so that when you swing, you have to swing on them. Yep. And then I'm just going to hit you with a bunch of units concurrently. It'd be annoying for sure. Yes. I could take your home objective. You have moved off it. If you move back onto it, you would be able to prevent me from heroicing by charging a spawn and then putting obsec on it, which I think is your plan. That is my plan. That is your plan. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I'm not a big fan. I'm a fan. Okay, so we're just going to charge the everyone the heck out of you. Yeah, okay. it's the finally. It's about time, you know? <laughs> right? So I would like to pick up six points of characters here. That'd be annoying. Yeah. That would really be annoying. I feel that, you know, because my Sanguinary Guard actually don't matter right now because they don't give you points for killing them. Yeah. yeah. Definitely should have taken to the last, which is what Death Guard always takes. But I wanted to be a little experimental here because I figured if you were going to engage me, you'd have to do so with your characters to actually make use of your heroic sacrifice. Little did I know you would just play like a coward. If you do that with knights, you lose points now, heroic points. No, I'm playing like a coward. Oh. Death Guard Sandwich. <laughs> yes, this is a Death Guard Sandwich. Everyone's going to be hitting you on twos, and we're going to fire a lot of shots into you before uh, doing anything else. Yes, roll lots of dice. Oh, oof. excellent. Love to do it. Mm-hmm. Dante, I might sack a Sang Ancient just to... Just to do it. Just to do it. Yeah. Just to say I did. One character. I'll Potential. take the one. 
Potentially, I still have decisions to make. You do. Uh, and he's actually over here because he will also charge in. You do not have a heroic in the bank, so I can kind of just do with this willy-nilly. They can charge in here, and it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. We are going to heal. This guy's going up to seven. What a monster. And he still has his three up in one. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That's another death company man with plus one to hit. All right, so we're going to shoot you a lot, and we're going to try and make this squad less than a five man by the time we hit it. Okay. And we're just going to try and call that a day. Now, I could shoot in here, which mm -hmm. is pretty cute, but doesn't actually do anything. Yep. Because I'm not planning on taking the objective. You will get a 12 at the end of the game. And I think that's going to be okay, because I think I have more than a 12-point lead on this. Okay. Uh, you will get a stranglehold, so potentially it keeps the score a little close, but I will get a stranglehold at the end of my turn. I'm going to pick up six points in characters, and let's shoot you. So the first unit's just going to shoot here. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to be going over points during the game so that you know what plays you should go for and what plays you should not. So first unit, everybody's strung back to six inches of my warlord, so they'll just be hitting you on twos. Ah. Unfortunately, no rerolls, because Nick is a jerk, first and foremost. That's what I'm doing? That's right. Oh, man. That's right, three wounds. Take Look at those, those two ones ups. and twos. You gotta focus on those. I hope you roll those ones and twos. Nah. Next unit. Today. Three for three. Oh, they're minus one to hit as well. Um, and plus one toughness. They're minus one to hit? You shouldn't even? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, those are all threes. And no wounds. No wounds. Excellent. Next unit. Mm -hmm. I get through a million shots with doing zero wounds. It would almost be like a Blood Angel shooting Death Guard shooting phase. It would, yeah. It would be very <laughs> similar. I just want to pick off that one dude. Well, I don't want you Three to. Three wounds. You didn't. All right, Dante. No, I refuse. Uh, yep. These guys shooting, actually, because I want to pick off one wound. Oh my god, Jack. I'm sorry, Nikki. Hitting on fours. Yep. Hitting on fours. One wound. Don't roll the one. I didn't. I didn't. Character. First character. Uh, one hit. No wound. Crack grenade. Oh boy. Hey, that missed. Remember? Next cracker did you throw misses? That's that one. No! That missed. All right, Dante is going to shoot you with a Inferno pistol that never does anything. In fact, it didn't. In fact, it didn't. <laughs> all right, so I didn't do one wound. That's all right. I'm fine with it, actually. I'm sure. Yes, indeed. All right, charges. Yeah. Charges. Charge-tastic. Fun times fly ahead. So you can't overwatch me. Not that that makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, Death Company are going to charge in here. Here, you're already in combat, so I'm fine with it. If I just pass a lot of fours, it's going to be really cool. It would, wouldn't it? Like all of them? It would have fours. to be like all of them. I'll do it. I know. All right, so Sanguinary Guard. Yeah. They're going to charge here and the character. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to interrupt that. So uh -huh. we are going to hammer wrath you. All right, if you get within three of him, you're going to fight last. If you get within six of him, you're going to count as not charging. But both of those are just going to happen. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, sang guard sweep attack. Oh, boy. Hammer breath. Okay. Fives and sixes do mortals. Uh, sixes, right? Because I'm talking six. Oh, well, it was just one anyway. One mortal. Sounds good. I'm going to pull that man. Mm -hmm. This squad is going to charge both of these units. Got it. That's plus one. Yep. Bonk. Are you charging the flamer guy here? Yes. I might overwatch that just because. Uh, you're two up armor. You have to go to four ups. They, I'm, what else would I do? Yeah, I'll just do it. Right. If it's squares, I'm going to charge up these guys first then. Oh, okay. The then they'll have three ups, then I won't. Okay. Easy enough. They're going to charge both. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's fighting last, Jack. Well, everyone's fighting is not charging. I think one unit's fighting last. I believe I have to select the unit. Doesn't really make a difference. So I'm gonna pick a unit and go first. This unit of intercessors is gonna charge in. And it'll be my death shrouds, I promise. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm hmm He's gonna charge the ancient. Yep. So I will sack the ancient, I think, here, just yeah. to make sure that three that of them doesn't happen. Three of them don't attack. Yeah, three of them won't attack. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, maybe he'll live. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, so they're in combat with you. They're in combat with you. Honestly, you have 12 attacks? Or uh, 16, 16 attacks? 16. 17. 17. You're hitting on threes, and you're wounding on twos. Yeah. Three so rolls. you should do, and I get four ups against Six is our additional mortals. You should kill like six. 
Uh, I don't really want to sack a character here, but that's, I think, fine. Okay. All right, so you can't interrupt, so I'm going to do all my chargers first, which is over here. Yep, I'll make one of them fight last. Sure. Um, yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Dante's just going to charge here. Oh, sure. That guy has zero threat. Mm. All zero right. Zero threat. Zero threat. So the hammer's first. Okay. Ten attacks, hitting on threes, because I give him plus one to hit. Yep. And wounding on twos. And these will give you four up six. Four. Four, please. All right. Oh, God, Keep it's happening. <laughs> um, um, oh, my God, I've seen this before. This is He's going to swing here. Twos. Yep. And threes. Those put you to your four ups. They're AP three. They are. Okay. It's assault doctrine. It's AP two base. Uh, four damage, unfortunately. I will pull the chaplain out of combat. Are the sanguinary guard charged here also? Or no? No, right? They only want these two? Uh, yeah, they only want those two. So I'll just pull the chaplain out of combat. Okay. And he takes four damage. Okay. All right. Uh, now it's up to you. All right. My first activation will be this unit of Terminators. Nope. You're fighting. It'll okay. still be those unit of Terminators. All right. Three will go into the Sanguinary Ancient because they have to. One will get the luxury of choosing. He'll they'll choose uh, this. Uh, does it matter? Oh, I guess we'll go with this thing in regard here. No, actually, okay. I don't know if it matters. I'll I'll hit this one. That's fighting the foul blight spawn. Got it. So this is into the foul blight spawn. Four or the the sanguine regard fighting in four hits. Strength okay. eight, two is reroll ones. Four AP threes. Four ups. Two. Kill two. Okay. This is into the ancient. Here is the reaper of glorious entropy. Three hits, strength a lot. Uh, three roll ones. Three, four ups. Uh, okay. One goes through, he's down to one. And then everything else. I think there's some special rules to that I have to check, but I will check as needed. Five hits. And twos to one. Twos will be five more. Five more, four ups, and he's, he's going to die. Yep. I was slow rolling it because I might uh, try and keep him alive if I live and fail to save or whatever. Yeah. All right, so that unit is done. We're going to go with the Van Vets next. Mm -hmm. That'll give me three points on Assassinate. All right, these are going to hit on threes. Okay. And they're going to wound on fives. So your man is at two wounds left. Yes. Uh, one wound at AP3. One wound at AP3. Now he's at one wound left. All right, seems good. Okay. All right, first Sanguinary Guard Squad is going to throw everything into your unit there. Yep. One. So, unfortunately, I don't hit that hard. Two. Or actually, Dante's going to hit your character. Okay. Screw your character guy. Oh, well, actually, I get to go with the character first, so he'll go. Why? Because you are alternating. Right, so... Oh, I want those band bands. Yeah. So, I'll go with my biology professor. Let's learn their stats. I don't think anything impressive, though. Um... I believe there's a strat I could use here with my last command point if I want. Uh, he's just got a plague weapon in close combat, and the foul blade spawn I'm pretty sure is very similar. Yeah, he's got even less. Four attacks each. I think there's a character strat though that does mortals. Let me just pull that up. Uh, it's every time, each time any model is destroyed by an attack. That's not particularly likely. Okay, and then I can use a 1 CP explosion when I die. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Here's four attacks into, some, into Dante. Minus one to hit. Screw it. Two hits. Three roll ones. Two wounds. AP one. Okay, cool. Two wounds. Two wounds. What do you want to use? He's good. He's good. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Dante's going to punch him because you're basically out of stuff that can yeah. fight this unit. Yeah, you're good. Uh, you, well, two units can fight him, but his combat is worthless, so whatever. Dante, punch in your man. Three? Three. AP, AP four, four goes to three. Six ups. He's taking threes at one. Okay. Okay, I'll do my foul blight spawn. Three hits. Into sanguinary guard. Three wounds. Uh, that's it. AP one. So it goes to zero. Yep. Takes one. Okay. So I'm going to take a wound. And now it's just me punching you. Yes. So. Well, it's him, but yeah. <laughs> so these guys are going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, three attacks only on the sergeant. Hit. And all wound, actually. Oh, all wound. AP uh, yeah. four. Toughness six, plus one wound. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not That's plus good. one, only one. Oh, you don't count as charging. So yeah, I passed yeah, my yeah. saves. So no plus one wound, no bonus attacks. Yeah. 
actually really annoying, but I knew about that when I charged you, so I can't really. Uh, um, two, can you get your two ups against these? Good. All right. First, you need a slam, slam guard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one all the way out on the edge. It looks like when I pile in, I'm going to get four here, three on him. So he's on one wound, so three into him. Yep. Twos. And threes. So oh, these. He's dead. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. And then into your no fight good man. Yep. We're going to swing on him. Live, buddy, I believe. Threes. I believe. And I believe. And those are giving you five of us. All right. I, I do have more where this comes from if there's. How much more? Uh, five main unit. Oh. Uh, he's dead. Okay. Um, does he? No. That's fine. Okay. okay. Uh, the five man unit is just going to swing on here. Yep. Everybody punch. Mm -hmm. Everybody do the punchy punch. Punchy punch. Punchy punch. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so there's five guys, so 15 attacks. One, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. And threes. Yep. You will get four ups against these. I don't think I'm killing the unit, but this unit will certainly know, and it's not leaving combat. Were you winning on fives? What did I say? The fours. Were you on oh, fours? the fours. Yeah. Um, Actually, there, there were a couple threes I saw. Oh, I'll do them again. Okay. This is to wound? Yeah. Okay. Fours, 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 fours. Not the threes. Oh, this is, no, this is not to wound. This is to hit. Oh, this is to, I'm sorry. You're doing everything again. Yeah, okay. I'm doing everything again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. A lot of four pinballs. This is going to hurt. But one damage each at least. Uh, you did a wound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Next Ooh, unit's going to go. guy. Yep. So the full seven man is just going to hit you. I really just wanted to pick off those characters. Yeah. No, you got the six Three, points. Three, that. four, five. And you can't leave combat, so you're just going to keep getting hit. And the game's ending. <laughs> well, but that's you, true. Yeah, you'll get hit again next turn. Is my point. <laughs> <laughs> and then, because so that was your turn five, right? Yeah, this is my turn five. And then I get a bunch of fours. This will kill a guy, and that'll kill a guy. So two guys go down. The wound carries, the wound over. carries over. So I have just two models left. Big old brickle of sanguinary guard is just going to start touching everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, this unit is actually out of combat. So one unit's out. For what it matters. Yeah, I don't think it does, but you never know. All right. So uh, this guy gets to go. He's going to swing on your sanguinary ancient. Okay. So my reroll, which is nice. So three, why does he have six attacks? He's five attacks. It was one die in there. That was the sergeant? Yep. Okay. Five hits. And five plague weapon. Four wounds. AP three. So four, uh, five ups. Yep. And I'd really like to live here. Um, next one, good. I'll take my two fuel no pains while we're at it. And then the last one is good. So he's at two. Okay. Not too bad. Um, all right. So going into my turn, let's tally some bananas. No, so just up to two CP. And we will score primary later. Jack, you'll get your... You won't get Stranglehold. Oh, I missed Stranglehold. Yeah. Oh, I could have just avoided that. Um, yep. yeah. Okay, well, whatever. I missed it. Yeah. Well, the I, game is so close that too. I think that might actually be a real problem for me. We'll find out. Um, I've lost you, some characters. So you'll get six points on Assassinate. Miss Stranglehold. You do control this objective. You didn't kill a unit that was on an objective, so you'll get two points for the mission. Um, I did. Your character was on it, right? Let me see. In that hole. Okay, fair enough. I was over there. I got two uh, points for the mission. Any more no prisoners, we think? I would give him one more, two more maybe. I don't... He was at just cracking 70. He killed one, two, three, four, five okay. Terminators. So 85. And then... So he'd be at nine. Yeah. And then if he kills these three, he should crack that 10 to get to 11. 11. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Or to get to 12, right? Once you crack 10, you go... I, I think that'll... We'll recount at the end. Yeah, yeah we'll count at the end. And they'll go over here. None of this matters. I, I control these three objectives. So Stranglehold's done. Um, the only thing I could do is control a unit, an objective I didn't control, which would be controlling this one or this one. And easier said than done. This yep. is chargeable. And Nick got a control. three on Assassinate Love that it. turn, right? Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, three for the uh, bandit guy. He's your warlord, right? So I got a four? No, he's not my warlord. He's not your warlord. My warlord's the bike guy. That's right. Okay. 
Um, how tough is Dante? My um, lord's the prince. Yeah, minus one. What can you hit him with? The prince. Okay, he's minus one to hit. He has a two up, four up, and he has six wounds. Yeah, I mean, it's not likely, but... And he'll also have the Sangar Heroic King into that combat as well. That would suck. Um, only the one Sangar that are engaged mm -hmm. can do it, so I can just attempt to worm trickery right out of that. Okay. Uh, Dante mm -hmm. is all the way over here. Yes. Okay. Um, what do we got, John? So, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Kerry K. Thank you so much for your $5 super chat. Mr. Kerry K is running a silver tide this weekend. He still has faith in the Warriors. You know what? I'd love to see the Necrons do well. Good luck, Mr. Kerry K. Heck yeah. Appreciate you and your support, Mr. Kerry K. All right, what are we looking up? We're going to open up the Tome Jack to find out all these random Death Guards to ask the two mortals. Okay. This one's Death Guard character, Death Guard character, Death Guard character. None of that's helpful. Um, Is the Tome closing? The tome might be closing. Yeah. Um, that doesn't help. That could have helped, but didn't. Um, what does the Reaper do? I didn't actually figure out. So now I do get all my rerolls. Because my reroll guy is gone, yeah. Well, that's true. That's unfortunate. What is my Reaper of Obliterax do, Dak? It, or Glorious Entropy. Six is Inflict Mortals. Cool. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, not gonna lie. I don't think anything I do really matters as far as uh, building that stuff. So power. let's just cast powers. Let's smite you from the Prince and Lee Sanguinary Guard, which will pass okay. for two. Cool. And a bullet dude. Um, the first uh, doohickey dude is going to minus one to hit these Terminators. Okay. Which will pass, and it'll take a mortal one of the Sanguard. Sounds good to me. And then he'll smite those Sanguard. Okay. Which will pass, and you'll take an additional mortal, so it'll be two. Okay, just pass the wound. Mm-hmm. The next one is going to go plus one toughness on these Terminators, which will pa uh, fail. And then he'll go for a uh, Curse of the Leper on these guys, which will pass. Okay, seven dice, and you need to roll fours. Uh, fours. Yep, and that'll be a clean three mortals. Did I roll seven to cast it? You did, right? Uh, do you remember? Yeah, you rolled eight. Yeah, so four mortals, too, total. Okay, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Why? Okay, not too threatened by them anymore. Uh, I think we're just going to try to hit this charge. I need a YOLO 11. That was impossible. Oh, then I don't need a YOLO yes. 11. I must have mismeasured. It's okay. Happens. We'll just charge Dante and the Sanguinary Guard right here. Okay. Uh, five will fail. We're CPing that for sure. Okay. Let's try the big dice, big numbers. This one, seven, I think we'll do. Yep, he's within eight. Yep, seven should do it. Seven right there. And I'll be closer to Dante than the Sanguinary Guard for the purposes of my pylons. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'll start with the Prince. Okay. Uh, he'll pile in over here towards Dante. Add a combat the Sanguinary Guard. That's some more room trickery we teach. Yep, so Sanguinary Guard cannot heroic. Yes. Now let me pull up the Prince's stats. I think he's got six attacks. He's a mighty fine fellow. He might use that last CP to reroll something. He's excited about his life and his ambitions. You know, Jack? Yep. He should try that. Six attacks. Uh, he's a sword, so he's AP2. Yep. And I hit you on threes, right? Minus one to hit, yes. Uh, I could reroll this, or I could save it for a reroll the wound. I think I'll save it for the reroll the wound. So you're wounding on twos? Wounding on twos. And it did help, so we'll use a CP reroll. It'll be five wounds. So I get three ups against these, and they're three damage apiece? Uh, no, Demonic Sword is AP three, and it's three damage each. Yep. Okay, so Hellforge Sword. So I'm getting four ups against Hellforge these. Hellforge Sword, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three damage. Three damage, six up Feel No Pains. Takes three. Takes three. Okay. Next one. Good. Fails that one. Uh, I'm going to CP reroll that. Okay, still fails, fails it. it. Got him. Nice. He's going to fight on death. Dante, man, down. Okay. That is unfortunate. Minus one to hit, just not what he used to be, you know? Not what he used to be. Twos. He fights on death for free. Mm -hmm. And he now gets all of his charge was charge bonuses. Toughness is six. So four wounds. Okay. And uh, AP. AP four. AP four. So these will be four fails. Two damage each goes to one. So yep. he'll uh, take four wounds. But he's got a four out five feel of pain. Got revoltingly resilient. He takes one. Okay, I was planning on trying to kill him this turn. I don't think that's going to happen. Wasn't this your my turn? Isn't this my they're five? Just pile in. Isn't this my five? Yeah, they're piling to fight him. Oh, oh, because like that. Yeah. So he's done. Um, but I think I'm just going to try and pick these up. So this seven man unit is just going to punch. Okay. I'm just going to pick up a bunch of this. Those character kills are unfortunate. I didn't really think he could do it, but unfortunately he did. So seven, uh, we're going to put four into here. We're going to put two into here, five into there. Okay. 
So the two, these are hitting on twos, no re-rolls because Nick is a big jerk. Big jerk. Uh, that is gonna be four AP three on the one wounder. Four, he's done. Unfortunate. Could have gotten Sanguinary Nation. That'd be really saucy. Four, five, yeah, I wanted to not let that happen. <laughs> Minus one to hit, did go off. It did go off. Okay. And threes. Oh, only toughness five now. So three. You're straight six? Yep. Axis. Axis. But these are AP three? AP three goes to two, takes you to your four ups. Um, so that will kill a guy and then wound the next. All right. You might as well select them because you're ne they're your next one. Yep. So all they can really do is try to, this is the Reaper Glorious Entropy. He's going to try to kill these four intercessors. Okay. And hopefully that works. Probably not. With no two, two attacks. Two hits. Yeah, two hits. And, uh, actually, the Reaper might not be minus one to hit. It is. The Relic one? Yep. Really? Relics yeah, you typically... think they give you good Relics? I, I could hope. Um, yeah, I, I'm not minus one to hit. Oh, I thought you were. I, so, I read up on it, but four I guess hits. I misread it. And Strength 8 Twos. will be four, and that's two mortal. Uh, one mortal. One mortal. One mortal, so three goes to two, so I get five ups against these. So one mortal. Um, I don't think they had a wound on them. Oh, that was the same. That's your guy. Yeah. So one guy and then a wound mark. So if I don't kill you, I bob sex. Yep. Then this five man unit. He should have shot his you. flamer pistols. I'm just going to roll it. I want to know. I'm not going to count this. Three. Three roll ones. Five. Jack. I'm going to take four saves. I'm going to make you take that. I want to know. I want to know. Well, let's see if I kill you first. That's true. Take. That many four ups, please. Yeah, he, it's not about whether he lives, it's about sending a message. Ooh, dark night close. Uh, he's, he's done. Super dead. Um, okay, I think that's all the stuff that matters. Take four saves for me. I want to know. You want to know? I want to know. He would have died. I he really would have. Well, he's still there. Yeah, I mean, that's the two points I'm I, I think that's actually super close because you picked up two of my characters. Now, you didn't kill any, you didn't take an objective back, and you no. didn't kill a unit on the objective. That's why my pistols really matter, but oh, we're not going to count it because I didn't think of it in time. So, we're going to score Stranglehold. Um, I will get two assassinates up to six myself. If you had flame, I would have transhuman them. No, well, if this and that. So, Jack, I think that's the end of your score. That's the end of my score. Where does that bring us to? I'm not going to score any mission points this turn, unfortunately. Mission primary, aside from the 12. All right, so if we are assuming that Jack has a nine on no prisoners. Oh, we got to count that. This um, is, I think this one's really close. Well, let's count it. Let's count it. So you've killed six spawn, so that's uh, 24 wounds. You killed uh, 20 pox walkers, of which six came back to life, so that's 26. Yep. So that's the 50. How many did I kill out of that? There's 5, 10, 12 remaining. So you killed 8, so you've killed 58 wounds there. You killed a 3-man Terminator and a 5-man Terminator, so that's another 9 wounds, so 67. What? and then No, that's uh, 9 and then 15. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay, sorry. And then, so 67, and then 15 wounds here is going to be 82. Right. And then, I believe that's all you've killed. You killed the five plague rings, so 92. 92. And you get that bonus point because you've crossed that 50 threshold, so that'll yep. put you to a 10. Yep, so I got 10 on that. I think a 10. Uh, assassinate, I got 6, you got 6. Yep. And then, Psycho Ritual is my 12 to your strangle, uh, your, uh, how's that? Yep, okay. and I got 12 on stranglehold, and I think you got a 9 or 12. You definitely I missed got, the one. I got a 12, I missed the one turn. You missed the one turn. I think that's actually super, super close. close. What do you got, John? All right, we have a final score of 82 to 79 in favor of the Blood Angel. Woo! Good game, Jack. Good game, Nick. Really good game. So, obviously, this wasn't your traditional sense of Death Guard ball up the middle and Blood Angels charge when we rowdy and rumble. I wanted that, but Jack was not giving it to me. Um, I think if I had taken to the last, it would have obviously, I could just, my characters are alive, but one Terminator units are not. It would have caused Jack to get a lot more aggressive with his playstyle. So I chose Assassinate, hopefully trying to keep Jack back. And then as you saw, we got four character kills on turn five, nothing before then. Kind of worked out. A um, little behind on the scoreboard there. It was a really good, good game. Back yeah, it really was. I, I think you have to play it this way as the Blood Angels. You can't just charge straight in. As you saw, I had a lot of problems with just eight Terminators that I didn't get any charge bonuses against. Yeah. Like, I swarmed it with my whole army while it was by itself. I thought I was, like, beyond it. I was in a... Like, nothing survives that. And then nothing I was survives like, three that. Terminators died. Yeah, because they basically more than doubled the effectiveness of what I did. Yeah. In uh, 
Because, you know, I get charge bonuses, I get rerolls, all that. But I didn't get any of that. You Your two? Vanguard Red Squad flipping it around on my Plague Marines and killing that unit. That was two victory points, but then also maybe <clears throat> redirect five Terminators in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That was big. Yeah, a lot of big moments. Yeah, really. Killing big. Dante was three points that, you know, just... Got to get him. Just got to get him. I, I have my talent, too. Can't if, the talent. if you had not charged, they would have heroically taken the objective away. Ooh, well, it's a good thing I charged. Good thing you it's did. Good thing I did. <laughs> um, no, super awesome game. Really... I'm feeling Death Guard a lot better about them. The obstacle on Terminators helps so much. I like. I didn't even get to use it as much because I am not used to playing with it. I think I should have been more aggressive with getting on objectives. Maybe a Noxious Light Brightbringer for that plus one move would have been helpful. Plus one who advances just to really get me places. Yep. I was one and short on both of these objectives with Terminators twice. That sucked. Yeah, yeah. Movement's key. Yeah. In Death Guard. Um, still, army still feels slow. I think you can build towards it. You got to build to the last in your army. I think building towards that psychic secondary is really important because then you do those two and like strangle hold or despoil ground. You're done. That's 45 yeah. points yeah, until your opponent sure. kills you. What are you feeling about Blood Angels with these new I changes? mean, they felt a lot more durable once I finally hit combat with you. Yeah. For sure. It was noticeable. It was very noticeable. So they're, I mean, they're great. They they just hit really hard when they hit. Mm -hmm. And there's not many armies that want to come rumble with you if you've planted your banner in the center of the board and you're like, come, come to me. Yeah. Um, John, we have any questions from this chat? Yeah, we uh, we do have a couple. So uh, first one is for Nick. Uh, this one's for Matt o. What do you think about dropping the Prince and some Termies for Mortarian again? Ooh, Morty's pretty tough these days with Unarmored Contempt. I still think he's an all-in kind of piece where some opponents will just shoot him and he will just go down. Like Grey Knights, for example, will just drag him down over time. Tau will just kill him over time. I don't like putting all my eggs in one bas in basket stylistically, but if you're that kind of player who likes running Morty and Knights and Magnus and those big creatures, I think you can. I don't think he's terrible. His Armored Contempt stuff has really helped him out. Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of the things that would kill him right off the bat don't care about Armor of Contempt, which is the problem. Yeah, like Dark Lances, you're still taking your angel. Yep. Um, All right, Jack, is it official? Are you taking Blood Angels to Motor City Mayhem? Uh, I haven't even thought about what I'm taking to Motor City Mayhem. I'm going to the Dallas Open first. Um, I mean, Blood Angels are... I like them a lot. They're really good. <laughs> this is not how you play Blood Angels most times, but against anything that's tougher than you, this is how you play it. And you got to be able to, to flex that, tactically flex like that. So normally you, you board control and box in the middle, and this time you ran away. That, that being able to pick a strategy and stick with it is really cool. So I don't know. I'm, I'm strongly considering them for Dallas, but I have no idea what I'm running for Motor City, my man. I'm Let's no see. idea. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Give us what your thoughts. It really helps us grow as a channel. Also, it's wonderful to hear from you and shows your support. It uh, helps us grow. It's really all there is to it. And then if you want some more battles just like this one, we do coaching matches in the war room where we teach you. We don't just play the game. We also talk about all our top player mentalities, what our decision processes are, and really walk you through the strategic mindset. So check that out. You get a Discord community along with it. It's super awesome, very positive, like-minded people, along with all kinds of faction clinics, meta Mondays, strategy sessions, all that good stuff. And you can sign up here on YouTube now. You don't even have to go to our website. Just click that Join button, join our community, and become a war room member. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye. There's so many rules in 40K, hundreds of events, and constant updates. Skip the learning curve of Warhammer and join the pros. Art of War is led by multiple world champions with decades of success. We teach clinics, stream games, and inspire you to succeed at your favorite hobby. Join our global community of gamers just like you.